This is Indian food in America. Yes, Indian food is one of my favorite all-time cuisines on the planet. We're going to be covering dishes from Punjab to the extreme northeast to the far south like Kerala to Kashmir. Genuine Indian cooking and fusion cuisines like Indian Chinese. Yes, chili paneer is my all-time favorite. We're trying every kind of biryani, the king of dishes, mutton, chicken, vegetarian, and tandoor. We're also touching on dishes from Bangladesh and Nepal. We're drinking non-stop lassi and pan liqueur, plus sweets like gulab jamun, kulfi, and malai. Indian street food to Indian fine dining. America has it all. Are you guys ready? Namaste. And this is it, Punjabi grocery and deli. As you see, as you walk in, it's a mini grocery store, right? On the left, you have some chips, some garlic, some Punjabi pickles, and then right over here, we have some food. So what do we have here? So on the left, we have the appetizers, samosas, alu tiki, breaded pakora. You know, you have the easy quick bites, and then on the right, we have the combo meals. So we're gonna go with a roti and two veg each. So six fifty per person. I think it's a great deal for breakfast. So we got a few appetizers, including the veg pakora. Dude, it is. Gotta go for it right here. You're gonna love this. So Ooh, that's, a big, that's a big piece right there. Look at that. Yeah. So this is basically just a vegetable fritter, right? Cheers, bro. Cheers. There it is. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Wow. Oh. That's good. That's li listen, I didn't know that you could fry the vegetable and make it this freaking tasty. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Very good, my friend. Yeah, oh, man. Lots of greens. Yeah. Your chutney? <laughs> Here? Yeah. Dave, we gotta try the hot sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Try this. This is a sweet sauce. Yeah, let's do it. It look, kind, of, kind of looks like jelly a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's more like a. Maybe like a. Is it tamarind chutney? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Do you sell those in bottles? Wow. No. That's good. Mm. So nice and sweet. No glazy. And it has a nice little kick to it too. Mm -hmm. Not not too overly spiced, but very, very good. Wow. Exactly. I can, I see why it is the, and next to it we have uh, the spicy, so real spice. This uh. container is the three dollars. Oh, okay, three dollars for that? Yeah, so they fill up a whole container for three dollars. Yeah. That's still a good price right there. I can't beat That's that. That's incredible. You know what I did? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to, you have to. But we're standing in the middle here because the lighting is all over the place. We're trying it. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's spicy. Mm -hmm. That could wake you up in the morning, that spice. That's good. That's good. It's like a sweet and sour now. Mm -hmm. well, I think it's all mixed. Usually they say like sweet and savory. Sweet and sour. Yeah. That's the go-to right there. I like sour. That. Good. Mmm, look at that. So it's an aloo samosa with peas inside. So it is massive. I think we're gonna have to break it in half. Yeah, we have to break that in half. That's big. Right here. Sorry, dude. Some samosa's on steroids right look there. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's hot still. I'm gonna go with spicy. You? I'm a spicy man, so let's go with the spice. I'm gonna actually spice mix it up just a little bit. Yeah, mix it. This is massive. This is so huge. Big. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. So tasty. Wow. That's delicious. So you have the, you know, aloo, so that's potatoes, right? You have some uh, green beans in here. It's a little mushy, outside crispy, not too fried. Yeah, it's really, really good. And I just love all the spices in there. I mean, it's- So many, right? It's like my my, uh, my taste buds right now, they're going wild, but in a good way. Yeah, so the, the thing about India, it's all about herbs and spices. Yeah. That's what it's about. Aren't they like the, um, the spice capital of the world? Mm-hmm. Mm. And why not bring the New York City, the, the food capital of the world right Dude, here? This is, the, this is the place to be. This is it. And if you guys don't know, in the East Village, a lot of Indian places. Mm. A lot of Indian There's a food. lot. And I hear they're really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. you know, when I walk through the East Village, I'm gonna definitely stop in the next restaurant I go to oh. one day. I have to. You have to, bro. You, you gotta put to. me on. You gotta put me on from good restaurants. I'll put you on, I'll put you on. I know you know them. And here we go. We have four <laughs> main dishes. The entrees, right? And this is how you do it, right? You just go in, grab it at this. Get some of that creamy spinach. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Raising amount of spinach, but then you feel the mushroom, like the flavors hit you. Mmm, you know, it's spicy too. So, usually the dish that I get with spinach is the paneer and spinach, right? But here it's just mushrooms. So, next year I go in here and get some of these chickpeas, right? Mm hmm. Good. This feels like I'm back in the streets of India. Mmm, nice. A little creamy. Mmm, chunky. Wow, loving the roti. So it's cabbage with 
more potatoes, and more green beans. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Good. Close my eyes. I'm back at Emirates. Yo, I don't know where to start. There's, I know there's a science behind it, but let's go for it. The spinach here is spicy spinach, right? A tiny bit. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Got the chickpeas right here. So what's this? Is this like an authentic dish right here? Mm -hmm. We find in India? Yep. Oh my God. Wow. That's amazing. That's really good. Um, Very flavorful. Who knew that vegetarian food would be this good? And I just love like the colors to it. It looks like just fun to eat. It's a little bit of a mess, but my God, this is really good. I've never had like flavors like that in my mouth before. That's absolutely amazing. Oh my God. Right now I feel the, the spice. Oh. Feel the spice. It's a little hot. And by the way, this is the owner. He bought this place back in 94, right? 94. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Incredible. So, approve the food? Oh my God. Definitely approve. Definitely coming back here. Let me get one of these. Wow, that's kicking right now. Oh my God. Yeah, that's good. That's spicy. That's spicy, Ooh, right? That's spicy, yeah. Mm -hmm. That spiciness, it gets you afterwards. It gets you a good like 30 seconds right after mm -hmm. you eat that. It has to be the spinach one. It has to be the spinach. Mm. Wow, that's me. Probably one of the best spinach I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's almost like a, if you have a spinach dip, yeah. similar, but you feel those mushrooms. And what's cool about this place is you also have like all the celebrities who have come through here over the years, right? So all, all these images. Where, where's John? Where's John? John's over here somewhere. John's <laughs> over here somewhere. He's gotta be. I know he's over. Hey, bro. Thank you, bro. Enjoy. Let's just, Enjoy. Let's just eat. You know what? I'm gonna go with the spinach. Yeah, I'm gonna get that some more. That spicy spinach is good. And if all vegetarian food tastes like this, I would become a full vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. Me too. That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. And Punjabi food is oh, really big on loud. on dairy, like huge. Okay. Loud. So like, that's a yogurt. So if, is Punjabi? Is that more um, northern? Um, yeah, Punjabi India? is north. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of them, they eat in their hometown. They eat. Uh, they're vegetarians a lot of the time. They don't mm -hmm. eat a lot of meat. Over sixty percent, roughly, of Hindus are vegetarians. Oh, okay. Around 60%. Don't quote me on that number, but yeah. eating just like oh. these type of dishes, right? Lots of sauces, very easy, always paired with bread. North is bread, south is rice. Mmm, okay. That's the biggest difference. Yo, I'm sweating up a storm right now from that spiciness. Oh my god. If you thought that was spicy, get ready for the masala oh. dosa, dude. Masala dosa next Yo, spot. I might need a new shirt, I think. <laughs> oh. So the total price was $17 for four entrees, two rotis, pakora, and samosa, and remember, bring cash, they only take cash. There's an ATM machine outside, but right now it's broken, so bring cash. My friend, thank you. Thank you, thank so you. Everything was phenomenal, man. God bless, thank you so much. So right is it? Dosa man? Yeah, dosa. Yes, man. I called you. This is utapam, this is actually more of a pancake. Yeah. It was identical to a pancake. This is identical, yeah. yeah. This is a southern Indian dish, utapam. A little different from a dosa. Dosa is going to be a lot more crispy, super thin. And where are you from? Sri Lanka. Tamil. You're from Sri Lanka? Tamil, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah. I went to Sri Lanka 10 years ago. Wow, awesome. 10. Yeah. The smell is crazy. The aroma is hitting you from the masala. So that's the masala, right? And then you put the aloo on top. So that's masala dosa, this one? So this is Kumar. He's from Sri Lanka. He opened up the NY Dosa spot right here in Washington Square Park. You have to look on his Instagram to make sure he's here the day you come. Sometimes you're not here, right? No. Sometimes, right? In the world. So he's gonna make for us a special dosa. Uh, I think it's like masala, pondicherry, something mixed. Yeah. And then we're also gonna have his grandmother's recipe, which is a mix of a few different lentils. So it's a very, very unique, colorful, it's like almost like an orange dosa. He also has sambar, amazing, love sambar. We have coconut chutney. What else? You have like mint chutney or anything else? Yeah, mint for the samosa. Mint Spicy. for the samosa. Spicy. Spicy this guy's awesome. He doesn't yeah. stop, literally. I mean, we were here like two minutes and like 20 people came. And this is the prices right here. So you have the board, Everything prices are right there. $10. Everything under $10. And one dollar for what? Light spicy or hot spicy? Yo, I want it spicy. Remember, full vegan. So we have yeah. samosas and what are those? Solid vegan drumsticks. Yeah, wow. solid protein in the sugarcane stick. You see the line here? This is 2005. Oh wow, little indie. Okay. And this is the best street food truck in all of New York City. Yeah. Best street food cart. Wow. Yeah. And listen, you know it's the best when he takes Venmo and when he has 15 phone calls before 11 a.m. All right, here we go. We have two different doses. So we have. The pondicherry one, which is like a big mix. It's like masala, there's potato in there, there's a salad. It's crispy, right? So that's the crepe, the, crepe, the, the dosa. Crepe, yeah. Th this is the one I really want to try really bad. Me too. The grandmother's recipe, so you know it's going to be good. So it's grandmother's recipe. Okay, grandmother's recipe. And then it's always like a six different lentils. He puts some of the spicy chutney. He puts some flakes on top. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coconut. Mm -hmm. Coconut, yeah, yeah. Coconut right there. Dry coconut right there. Amazing, down. yeah. Going in for it. You know what? I'm going to be a little mixologist right now. I want to mix that. 
Oh my god. Wow. That's so good. You get that real coconut flavor. Nothing fake. Wow. That's amazing. It's fluffy, very airy. Oh my god. Listen, I eat a lot of meat. So what I, now I'm changing the game right now. I'm eating a lot of vegetarian food today. If all food tastes like this that's vegetarian, I would be considering myself vegetarian from now on. Seriously, this is really, really good. That is spicy. Oh man, that's good. So you had a chance to try this. My turn. So we got basically coconut all over it. I mean, it's just falling apart. Incredible. Look at this. Mm. And you dip it into coconut, right? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. It's coconut shavings, coconut chutney, and you have this pancake that's mixed with like so many different lentils. Yeah, that's absolutely just, it's delicious. There's really no words for it, delicious. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Now this, coconut. Mmm. Mmm. Let's go. Yo. Let's get in here. Mm -hmm. so you can see, you got potatoes in here. Oh. What else? Mmm. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got some, uh, some vegetables in there. Um, wow. Like wow. a tomato soup. It's basically. tomato soup, basically. Wow. It's, it's a so tomato-based soup. It's more like a, sometimes it's like this, like brothy, mm -hmm. sometimes thicker and like just like a thicker consistency, right? Wow. This, you can dip your dosa into it or you can drink it. I mean, hey, you know what? Both works, right? Both works. Okay, my friends, next up we have this special dosa. This is the Pond Cherry Dosa. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm. This was like the healthiest bite that I've ever took into. Mm hmm. So I tell you, oh man, these things are savory. Yeah. Mm hmm. Savory, very sweet. It's not that. It's not spicy though. I guess the spicy uh, sauce is right there. We gotta mm -hmm. throw some on there, right? Right there, right? Oh I, wow. I always put too much on. You put too much on too, right? No, dude. Always, always. Here it There's is. Never too much. There's never too much spice. Oh my wow. God. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is good. This is really good. Oh, and now I'm getting a lot of that. <coughs> <laughs> it's spicy, man. Oh, man. A lot of coconut flakes here. Oh, super maybe silly. With, maybe the coconut flakes can like balance off the spice maybe a little a bit. A little bit, a little right? bit, right? He mm. told me earlier, everything's gluten-free as well. Oh, yeah? So it's really healthy, man. You know? Dude, super healthy. I mean, if you guys don't know, especially in Sri Lanka, straight veg, super healthy diet. Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. It's funny because I, I think I, I never see like any Indian people who are like overweight ever. So it's probably their diet within their uh, cuisine. Mm -hmm. Like Italians, we eat pasta all day long. We're all overweight and obese. It's, you guys start sticking with the Indians. <laughs> start sticking with the Indians. Oh. My favorite chutney is going to chutney. Mm. Yeah. This is something that I, I was never um, around to eat. Mm -hmm. And I never knew where like the good spots were. So I just never really like, opened my mind up to yeah. Indian food. But thank you for having me today right here. I mean, this is... This is good. Cheers, Authentic bro. Authentic Indian food. I will be back at Dosa Man. Oh man, very me soon. too. I'm not, I'm not. Yo, Deep. How you doing, man? Everything good, you? Well, what do you recommend? Everything. Your rice, beans, protein, and veggies. I'm gonna freestyle it. All right, I'm gonna get the white rice. Well, that's the Bismati rice. I'm learning. I'm a, I'm a work in progress. I'm gonna go with the black lentils. Can I go with the chicken tikka? Chicken tikka masala sauce on top? Yes, please, absolutely. You know what? I'm gonna go with potatoes. Why not get more potatoes? Why not? Okay. I'm gonna go with that yogurt. Uh, what is that exactly? Raita, raita. Raita, okay. Like, eat it like right after you have something hot or spicy, this cools it down. That's exactly what I needed yeah. in the last spot. Yeah, I, I know. Is there any like a hot sauce as well? I got you, I got you. We have the green chili hot sauce, we have biryani sauce, it's very tasty. That's the spicy stuff right there. So this is how you cool it down, right? Half and half? Half and half. Let's All right, it. let's try it, let's try it. Dude, you're gonna love this. Mmm, cardamom, ginger. Oh mm, wow. A lot of stuff in here. Maybe some like turmeric maybe in there too? Turmeric, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it, it's wow. like, it's almost like a, I always compare it to cafe con leche, like coffee and milk. Yes, yes. Because their tea is always with milk, very, very frothy, you know? Now, do they, do they drink their tea before every meal? Or is yeah. it more like you a drink dessert? drink tea all day. All day long, well. All day, dude. And in there, for like two bucks, you drink 20 cups. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you know what, in that case, if I ever go to India, I'm gonna be drinking coffee and tea nonstop. Chai. Chai. Chai, chai. tea. And chai tea places chai, so. Chai, 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 chai. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what it dig in first right here. I might go for the chicken. Let's go for the, the chicken. chicken. Mix it with some of this rice. Mm -hmm. So many incredible Indian food spots here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Light. 
What? Wow, creamy too. The thing is that here, because of the bowl, things start to mix, but that's the beauty of Indian food. Mm. You're allowed to You're mix. right, yeah. Like on that bite, I just had the white rice. I'm sorry, the bismati rice. Bismati with rice. the beans, with the chicken. My mm. first, this is my first time having um chicken today because we went, we went like a little, we went a little vegetarian more Indian crawl. Exactly. That chicken is good. That chicken is amazing. It's really good. I'm gonna have to have a bite. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna keep going with this though. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. The black, the black beans are good. The black beans That's are incredible. Really good. Black doll. Wait, uh, there we go. Wait, just a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful plate. It looks delicious. It's a vibrant colors you have. It looks appetizing and it's amazing. Yeah, this is definitely like one of the most flavorful um, cuisines that I think I've ever had before. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Oh man, it, it's so flavorful. The thing about Indian food is that the sauces makes it. The sauces. Yeah. It's like With all the spices. All the spices. All the herbs. Mm -hmm. I love this. The mango pickle chutney. Mix Ooh, it with some potato. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, it. let's mix that right there. Big bite. Cheers. There bro. we go. Cheers. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how, like, one side of the plate, it's spicy. The other side of the plate, sweet. Dude, it's crazy. Like a mango salad. Yeah. Right? Whoa, this is so good. Mm. You know, you have to eat the oh mango. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so upset that, like, I've never opened my mind up to eating Indian food, but thank God I met you, because now I'm definitely going to. So you know the amazing thing about Indian food is that, even myself, I tried it a few times in my life, but until I was 33, when I landed in India for the first time, mm. I didn't know what Indian food was. Oh wow. You know, and then you get it and you're like, whoa, and then every second it's different. It's different, yeah. It's different. I feel like maybe every person makes it different as well, you know? Exactly. In every now, restaurant. In, in India, they say every 50 kilometers, people change, Culture changes, food changes, Yo. and the language is the same. It's the truth, though. You're right about that. Even with New York City, same, same thing. Same thing. Same yeah. Philosophy. Here's yeah. like 50, 50 meters. <laughs> 50 meters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is something that you have to try. Let's do it. This is amazing. This is called mango lassi. So this is a yogurt drink with mango, and mango is the national fruit of India. Oh wow! And you know what? It's my favorite fruit. Me mango. Too. Me too. Let's do it. From Miami, dude. I love it. <laughs> so this one's more like a protein shake. I mean, in terms of thickness, right? Okay. Yeah. Wow, it's fresh. It's fresh. It's meant to cool down heat as well. Yeah, which it definitely did just now. It did, it did. It definitely did. And then it also, like in India, you're walking around and it's flaming hot. And you have flaming hot food. Oh. So then this is like the, the equalizer. Yeah. You know, like it just cools you down. And here we have the momo. So beef momos with radish. Beautiful. So what does this remind me of? Well, like shalambao, almost like a soup dumpling, right? So we have two different sauces here. So what is this, like ketchup and uh, mustard? No way. So hot sauce and sesame. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the hot sauce, because that's my jam, hot sauce. Woo! Oh. It's, it's too hot? It's hot. Mmm. Basically, it's like chili oil right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, super soft dumpling. Really filling, right? So they filled it up with beef. Obviously, in case you aren't for beef, you know, just know this is a beef dish. But it's so good, nice and juicy. Oh wow, tasty, super tasty. Mm. This is like a, I'd say a seven on the, the heat scale. Wow, incredible momos, super delicious. Last time I had something like this was like in Bhutan. Obviously they don't call it momos there, it's a little different, but so good. My friends, enjoy, enjoy. Approved. Man, so where are we going next to eat? David, let's come here. Let's go to the shop. Okay, so we're going to a shop that sells basically earrings, necklaces, everything is Desi. And you have the earrings, bangles, necklaces, and those are the bridal sets there. I mean, it's just a, a very, very long shop. Literally, I can extend from here to here. That's it. Beautiful bangles, gorgeous. So everything here is for more for celebrations, right? Festive and wedding bridal wear. Good hidden gem in Jackson Heights because it has everything you need. And David, here you have these things called jutis. Seen these in Punjab? Yeah, yeah Punjabi beautiful. jutis and it's like... This one, Bangra juti. Yeah. Bangra juti, okay. Beautiful, so basically like sandals, right? Yeah, yeah. Very beautiful, I mean lots of details, right? Yeah. Intricate designs, yeah. very colorful. Obviously that's what Punjab is all about. Everything good? Yeah, good, good man. There's everything bridal, this and all bridal set, this and bridal shoes, this and backside men's shoes, yeah, all item. This coming, follow me. 
But this is all for women. Where's the men stuff? Only it's uh, coming, 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 coming. Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, all men. Baby shoes, men shoes. This is an old leather shoes. This is a decoration item. This is an everything. So if you're a man and you're looking for, you know, shoes, traditional Desi shoes, Punjabi style, you have over here. These are beautiful designs, very colorful. You have some blue ones, white ones, red ones, burgundy, you know, gray. Very nice. Punjabi. Punjabi juti. Gorgeous. How much? How much for these? Thirty dollar. Thirty dollar? Only thirty dollar. Uh, Everything thirty dollar. These are shoes. Thirty thirty dollar. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. I see you next time. Oh. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye, thank bye. you all. So next place we'll go to the Fuchka stall. There, it's a Bangladeshi food stall, and we'll have some Fuchkas, Jalmuris, and uh, Doi Fuchkas. This is the first Fuchka car in the USA. Bengali street food, my friends. Fushka. How are you doing? I am doing. Right. We, we want some fushka. No, no, yeah, fushka. Yeah. So we have the bani, which is the water in the bottom, right? Right Basically here. We take it, you dip it into the, the shell, okay. and you go for it. So yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do one for you. I'm gonna do one for me. Alright, All let's right. do it. Grab All it. Alright, let's do it. Right, let's do it. Right, cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mmm. Good, right? Tastes like, you know, never gets old. Coriander, potatoes. Wow. It's so full, it's so filling. Yeah. Eggs as well. Eggs, chickpeas, um, onions, different different masalas. Mm, it's really flavorful, so tender. A little spicy. Yeah, and the shell has to be crispy. Yeah, you know, it has you, to be crispy. You have to eat it right after you, you know. If you throw this, uh, you know, the, the water into it, yeah. and you wait too long, it becomes too soggy. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to go for it right away. Right away, there we go. There we go. In India, they call me the Pani Puri God. Oh, really? Well, in Bangladesh, they're gonna call you the Fucha God. <laughs> Fucha is better than Pani Puri. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're starting. We're starting drama already. <laughs> Mumbai. Mumbai. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, so let me try it. Mmm. A little bit of spice. Yep. Not so bad. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy. Okay. Obviously, puff rice. This is a chat. Yeah, it's a chat. Mm -hmm. It's a street food. Me more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Spicy. spicy. Yeah, because it has green chilies. Nice, yeah, spicy, spicy. Mmm. <laughs> uh, green chilies, like mm -hmm. you have these green chilies here. Fuchka, I mean, one more. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. So, where to next? So, next we'll take a break from eating and we'll explore the farmer's market right in front of us. Okay, that's so Apna. It's Apna is like ours in Hindi. It's called like ourselves, like closed ones. Apna. Okay. Bazaar is like a bazaar. It's in it's a farmer's market. You have groceries, you have vegetables, and whatnot. Let's check out. Let's go. It's right here. Literally just across the street. This is the best thing about India. You oh get this all over the streets. So we have sugarcane juice. We have sugarcane. Just gonna cut it up. We're gonna put it into this. It's extracted juice, and you have it. Obviously, right now it's not so hot, but it's perfect. Whoa. I mean, if you don't like ginger, don't get this one. Yeah. <laughs> but I love ginger. Mm. It's really sweet and it has that spicy ginger. Yeah, exactly. I mean, sugarcane juice is extremely sweet, but, but this is the best thing to refresh you in the heat, right? Yeah, it just calms you down immediately. Yeah, luckily for us, today's a really cool day here in New York, so it's not so bad. I'm Miami guy. Yeah. If it's only 70 degrees, I'm freezing. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing, dude. I feel like I'm back in India, back in Asia in general, you know? When I was in Asia, as you said, when it was hot, I was I used to I used to have like a couple of these every single day. This it's amazing. Hey David, so we just finished having our uh, sugarcane juice. We have some grocery stores around here, but this place is really good for its sweets. It's called Premium Sweets and Restaurants. Let's go and check out. Okay, Premium Sweets. Let's go inside. This isn't just a sweet shop. They also have basically a buffet line here. So they have different biryanis, they have different curries. Over here we have duck curry, we have... Lamb, we have chicken, and all these are vegetable, like that's cabbage and cluster beans and... What? Green beans as well, eggplant, that one looks amazing. And that's potato. So that's we have a variety of vegetarian and non vegetarian feast over here. Okay, I think we should do sweets though. Yeah, that's right? it, yeah. I've eaten too much today, I need sweets. 
This is the biggest thing about India, Bangladesh, that whole area. They love sweets. Sweets. Sweets, sweets. sweets is time. king, right? Yeah. All meals, we need to have one sweet with food. Cheers. Mm. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. And you have the milk powder taste. Mm -hmm. And it's sweet from natural brown sugar. Mm. It's called gur. 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 Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's dense. Dense. It's crumbly and sweet. That's it, basically it. It has a hint of caramel because it's mm. the sugar has been, you know, burned down to like the caramel kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Take that away from me. It's too much. <laughs> I mean, it's like straight sugar right there. Yeah. This is the one I haven't tried before. Yeah. So this is kala jamun. Kala jamun. So it's like fingers. Kala. It's kala is black. It's okay. Kala jamun. It's similar to gulab jamun, but it's so basically the same thing. Just the shape is different. Shape and the color. Okay, my friend. Let's do it. Mm. So basically the same thing. Mm. I don't really taste a huge difference. It's not, but the shape and the color is different. Mm -hmm. And it's called Kala Jamun because of the shape, mainly because of its shape. And this is from Bangladesh? Yeah, this is like their local dish over there. Okay. Everybody loves it. And the other ones are Gulab Jamun, yep. which is a you know a staple in Desi culture. So I wasn't expecting this, but we got biryani. So what biryani is this? Uh, it's called Kachi biryani. Kachi. Kachi. And it has goat meat in it, and it's a very um, flavorful and a local biryani, which is loved by Bangladesh people. So how do we eat this? Very easy, with your hand, right? Yeah. Oh, the coat is so hot. Okay, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some of the biryani. Ooh, it's like scorching. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 So you mix it in with some of this with your hands. And yeah. It's really tasty. I, I really haven't had a lot of goat biryani. I have more chicken biryani, veg biryani. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you'll find this more in places where they're more not veg, right? Yeah. It's still good. Mmm. Biryani is life. They call us the king of dishes in India, right? Yeah. And every place has their own special biryani. Mm -hmm. In terms of the rice, there's no raisins in here. It's basically just a few spices. Yep. So you get pepper right there, peppercorn. Peppercorn, cloves. Oh. <laughs> that was spicy. spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love it, but the goat's still way too hot. I'm gonna wait a little while. I think I'm good though. Yeah. You sure you're not gonna eat? No. I know, I'm joking yeah. with you. <laughs> I'll watch you enjoy. It goes so much flavor. Very tender. Some spices as well. It's marinated. Marinated, huh? Yeah. We're going to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here to introduce you guys to Indo-Chinese cuisine here at Tangra Asian Fusion. We are going to make a Tangra soup, Tangra masala soup, which is a special house soup. And it's, uh, it's with like shrimp, crab, and... Uh, I just put chicken. I chicken. Didn't, I didn't, okay. I put chicken. chicken. Okay. I got the sauce in it. Ready for this? Definitely. <laughs> I love this restaurant. Look at this. You got the wok, you have the soups, we have the chicken. It's gonna be so good. Chicken lollipop? Oh, the best, the best. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the soup and some chicken lollipop. Paulina's never had this before. She's gonna be blown away. Let's hope so. Okay, Paulina, are you excited or what? I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at handling spice. The place I here for you guys, huh? Mm hmm. Man, it was amazing. So good. Mm -hmm. Super tasty. Not too thick. Yes. Mm. You know? Wow, so we have fresh mango on top. I've never Thank seen you. it like this. Yes. It's so good. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, nice. So good. Fantastic. Yeah. And I don't know if you know, but mango is the national fruit of India. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I didn't know that. So there's shrimp, there's egg, I think there's tofu. Mm, so it looks a little slimy, right? In terms of the consistency of the soup. Mm -hmm. You ready for spice? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, but it's like the perfect amount. Yeah, right? Not too spicy. So good. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Nice chunky shrimp. Tofu. Slimy. Mm hmm. Mm. I love this type of soup. Um, cilantro. Oh, like cilantro, right? It's so good. And right here, we have the chicken lollipops. So, this is the wing, right? They move the meat to the bottom and they fry it. And it has some nice sauce. It looks like a mayo sauce, you know, mm -hmm. like a spicy mayo. I don't know exactly if it's exactly that, but uh, luckily we let it sit for like five minutes, mm -hmm. not too hot. So definitely get some of that sauce, right? Yeah. You know, right there. Good. All right. Cheers. Cheers. 
Oh my god. So good. It's chunky, it's crispy, there's herbs in here. My cousin loves like Korean fried chicken, right? Doesn't get any better than this. No, no, no. This is so good. Mmm. Oh wow. And it's lightly fried, not too deep. Mmm. Look at that. Amazing. This is a great appetizer and it's a staple, right? Another thing you have to try when you eat any Indo Chinese mm -hmm. restaurant. Wow. When you get close up in here, you feel that spice, right? Yeah. It hits you. This is called sizzling uh, okra, tangra masala okra. Then we are going to serve it to the customer. Are you ready for that? I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh, that was just like an appetizer, but now I want more. The fume of the chili, right? Uh, we use everything like fresh chili, ginger, garlic, it's all fresh. And so, and so you said the, f the main ingredients in Indo Chinese is chili, garlic, and? And uh, ginger. And ginger. Right, Hugo, yeah. Right, you go, yeah. Fresh ginger. Fresh, uh, all this. All these are the ones. Chicken chili. Well, how tasty that looks. I think we have to jump onto the momos next because she's saying, obviously, this came out of the steamer. So I'm gonna grab one for you like that, boom. Grab one for myself. And we have cilantro chutney. Cilantro chutney? Yes. So I'm sure there's some chili. You want some, you sure? No. Oh, a little chili, just a little bit. Just a little bit, right? I'll get a lot. And this, we're eating with our hands, it's all good. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. So it's like a, it's totally like a salsa almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, not spicy. Chicken momo, so basically chicken dumplings, right? Steamed. I prefer always steamed over fried. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fry guy. It's a mash. So good, auntie. So good. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Spicy rice tangra. I forgot the name of it, but she said it. There's some um, some shrimp in here, and obviously red always means the tangra. Tangra. Are you feeling the spice or what? Yep. I know. It starts to sneak up on you. Wow. Mm hmm. Mmm. Fairly mild. It's mild. Pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have egg in here, we have peas, onions, and shrimp. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh. it's, what a lighter dish. It's starting to hit. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's amazing. This one's not too spicy. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is it's, uh, it's perfect. It's mild. Flavor, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we have like three other locations. So one of the locations that's in Grand Avenue. They have crispy ginger beef, uh, crispy ginger and scallion. They have uh, hakka chow mein, hakka fried rice, and uh, sizzling dishes. A lot of them. So next up we have Basically, the chili chicken. They give you more of like a masala sort of. More chicken. More chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was a whole bun. Mmm. Too much bun? Yeah, no. some pieces have more bun. No. The sauce is more dry, right? No. A lot of chili in here though. The whole thing is like covered in 
in to the seeds. <clears throat> Feel a little bit, right? I think you're gonna like this a lot. So you never had paneer, right? Mm -mm. So paneer is basically cottage cheese, always like this in cubes. Looks like this might be a little spicy. Okay. We'll see. But um, it's so good. And if you eat pure veg in India, like I said before, like you know, big pop, big majority of the population in India is uh, straight vegetarians, mm -hmm. right? Because obviously, if they're Hindus or J Jains, Jains, sorry if I say that wrong, um, you know, they're pure veg. They don't kill animals. Okay, it's part of it, right? So that's why they eat cottage cheese. And I think you're gonna like it. If you like cheese, yes. love it. Mm-hmm. So dense cheese cube. That's good. Mm-hmm. Cottage cheese balances out the spice. Mm-hmm. Cuts it right. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa! And that's it, my friends. That is Tangra Asian fusion, Indo Chinese food. All right, so we're going to the kitchen to see how they make some Kashmiri dishes. This looks incredible, my friend. How you doing? How you? Everything good? I love your hairstyle, my boy. That's yo. yo, ready to go. How's it going? Ready to go. 24 hours Indian cuisine in Curry Hill. Let's go. Right now we're making two dishes. The famous chicken biryani, which looks absolutely incredible, smells so good, the aromas. And the other one is a Kashmiri dish, and they added saffron and rose water. Yeah, that's our damalu. It's stuffed potatoes in a creamy gravy with uh, saffron. And the other biryani, he's going to actually put it in container and put it in the tandoor oven to give it a steam and give you the actual dumb effect. Plus the smokiness, right? Mm -hmm. uh, everything in the tandoor is like the best. Everything, yeah, right? I love it. Me too, me too. I can eat everything from the tandoor. Fish, paneer, doesn't the matter. Chicken you got. And next up, he's making some lamb rishta, which is a dish of lamb, like kebabs or like burgers, right? And then he puts them into the cream. Right, it's a creamy sauce. It's also a Kashmiri dish. A uh, very popular Kashmiri dish, and we've introduced it. A little bit of a fusion touch to it, but uh, it's got the authenticness as well. Looks good. I've never tried those two dishes for sure. I've never tried this one. Obviously, this is going to be the best biryani in New York City. Of course, definitely. Good. I'm so excited. Down. This is the king of dishes. The biryani's ready, so he put all the rice into a clay pot, then he covered it with bread, with the dough of the naan, then he put it down into the tandoor, and look at that. Ooh, so hot. How hot is this? 350 Fahrenheit. 350 Fahrenheit. No, thank you. I'll pass. <laughs> I mean, literally, you go like this, and like, you lose your hair. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So hot. Wow. Rosemary. A rosemary now, a little different. Lots of fragrance, right? Oh, yeah. that's great. That's it. We saw how they made a few different dishes. Now let's go to the front. Let's eat. I'm excited. Kashmiri food is going to be the best. Ready? Yeah. Let's go eat. Ankush, I am so excited. This looks absolutely amazing. We have two different curries. We have the naan, we have the biryani, which is infamous, and then we also have the chicken chops. Yep, you got it. Okay, so how do we start this? So chicken chop, so you just marinate it with a different uh, gravy, right? It's a masala? different marination. There's some yogurt, some mayonnaise, some Indian spices, a uh, wide variety of spices. Very different than your normal tandoori chicken. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. What do so you think? good. A little spice. A little bit, right? yeah. Mmm. It's nice, obviously, tandoori flavor. It's the baked, right? right? So it falls apart in your mouth. Right. I love the marination. Thank you. It's so subtle, too. Not too much. Right. You know? And and the great thing is about the mork chop, it, it's softer than your normal tandoori chicken. Mm -hmm. Usually, tandoori chicken is oh. a little bit harder. So the tenderness of the meat mm -hmm. makes a big difference. Super tender. Very chunky. Yeah. Lots of meat here. Wow. Mmm. And both of these are from the from Kashmir. They're Kashmir dishes, yep. Wow. And so you pair this along with the bread, right? Yep, the with the rosemary naan. It's too good, my friend. Thank Enjoy. You. All right, so let's grab this beautiful lamb. Look at that. Wow, what a beautiful gravy. More sweet style gravies, right, right in Kashmir. This, this is a saffron based gravy. This one is a little bit also sweeter gravy, more tomato uh, base. Okay, so how do we start? So we take the naan. Okay. And with the naan, we're gonna break off a piece and mm -hmm. take the lamb patty. Okay. Break off a piece there, get the gravy, make sure you get the gravy with it. Remember, don't take huge bites. India's all about smaller course, bites, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> cheers, all man. All right, cheers. Oh my god. The flavor of the, the lamb. So different from the gravy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Balances it off nicely. Incredible gravy, wow. It's a little sweet, right? Yeah, so it's saffron, uh, it's an onion base, and uh, cream. So 
Fish berry dishes will generally have a lot of more on the creamier side. Super creamy. Yep, but North India is all about cream. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's cream about and cream. bread. Yep. This is how you eat Indian food. You do it better than me. <laughs> mm. And you got me with lamb because lamb is my favorite meat. Nice. They don't have that much fat. They're lean. Incredible. Yep. And obviously in India, we don't eat beef, so. Of course. Never had it before. And this naan, mm -hmm. it's incredible. Whoa, the rosemary. Oh, getting the flavor of it. Mm. 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 And this is a huge potato. Yep, stuffed potato. Stuffed potato. It has cashews, raisins. So with bread, without bread, I'll do it like this, All just right. to try it, right? Mm -hmm. Get the flavor of the mm -hmm. stuffing. Whoa. Okay, a lot of different things going on in here, huh? Mm -hmm. Plus, the, the gravy is almost like the Mur Makhni mm -hmm. gravy, right? Similar. Similar, yeah. First time having a stuff with everything. Right? Like yeah. It's almost like a baked potato, right. but obviously this one has the gravy, mm -hmm. and it's completely like surrounded with potato. Right. Inside is it's stuffing, that right? Stuffing, yep. Remember to add more of that gravy right there. Mm. Delicious. Wow. Um, and this was steamed in the tandoor. I know we have a long day, so we're taking Definitely. it slow, but look how beautiful this is. This is a mixed rice layer dish, right? Yep. And you just gotta put it here, right there, perfect. Don't mix it with the gravies, I suggest doing that later. Yeah. You know, best thing to do is try it alone, then have it with raita, then mix with gravies, yep, right? Yep, definitely. Uh -huh. Okay, so how do you eat biryani? Well, like every single rice dish in India, use your hands. Well, really it's south, right? Right. But everywhere they need to use hands, you know, for of bread, course. for rice. Yep, we're all about the hands. Are we ready? <laughs> yep, let's go. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you just get in here Grab. and you break it up, right? Yep. It's supposed to break everything. Ooh, it's still flaming hot, right? So you break up everything, mm -hmm. and then you could just take a bite like this, you know, grab it, yep. little bite with the, these three fingers. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm-hmm, mm. What do you think? Oh, wow. Mm. God, so much flavor in here. Man, the chicken's incredible. I'm gonna get a food orgasm right now no, with this go one. go for it, yep. Whoa, let me try more. Mmm. It definitely got a uh, smoky flavor from the tandoor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just add it like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go in here and you mix it. Love this biryani. Mmm. See all these curries? You mix it all together. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter, right? Yeah. That's the cool thing about Indian cuisine. You're allowed to do this. Just don't leave any grains of rice. Bring them all in, of right? Course. Get all the flavors in there. Look at that. And then you just have it like that, like on your hand, right? So this is how I do it. Some people put it inside, yeah. right? Am I an expert or what? You're, you're, you're the best I've seen. <laughs> yeah, the best white guy doing it. <laughs> We're going right next door to Daba. If you guys don't know what Daba means, that is a roadside restaurant in India. All the truck drivers stop here. And the reason why it's so good is because they have like literally every dish from all the states of India. Their menus are huge, obviously. 250 items. 250 <laughs> items right here? Yeah. Wow, let's go inside, let's eat. We're back in the kitchen, let's go, whoa. What's up guys? So good. David, so here we're doing sarsuka sag and makili roti. We're doing uh, kalimir chicken, a rumali roti, which is a flat, long roti. Uh, in addition to that, we're doing tangri kebab, which is chicken drumsticks, tandoori. The smells in here are insane. So good. Thank so what are we making here? Sarsuka sag. And right here he's making the rumali roti. So it's made out of wheat flour and they actually use the bottom piece of the karai. So usually they'll make karai in these big like pans, but they flipped it over and that's what they use to heat it up. It's actually very, very thin. It's incredible, beautiful. And it looks like a pita bread, right? Pita, lavash as well in Armenia. Very similar. I can't wait, man. Oh, more bread. Look at this. First restaurant done. And I'm done for the day. I don't know about you, bro, but I'm cool. I'm cool till 6 p.m. I didn't eat so much. I can eat like a lot more. You'll see. You'll see now. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Round two. We have two different sizzlers. We have the spinach with the cornbread, mm -hmm. and then over here we have a beautiful curry dish. Yep, black pepper chicken, chicken kali merch. And then what are these two? So this is tangri kebab. It's a drumstick chicken tandoori marinade, and that is pahari kebab, which is chicken thighs marinated in a spicy. Um, chili marinade. Mmm, nice and frothy, oh, right? Mm-hmm. Love it. It's great. Not too chunky, not too thick. You know, I had it in Amritsar. That mm -hmm. is like crazy. Oh yeah. Like you have to get a spoon to like eat it, you know? 
Okay, so let's try it. All right, cheers. I'm gonna try it without chutney, then chutney. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, very A little different. bit more tangy. A little more tangy, also spicy. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm gonna try it with the tamarind. So tender. Mm, so sweet. And right here we have? This is pahari kebab. Pahari kebab. Mm -hmm. so, spicy chicken. Spicy. Very spicy. Okay, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Oh. Oh. I feel the spiciest chicken I've ever had in my life. We need that rose lassi after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the chilies throughout, nice and tender, but mm -hmm. you have to like spice to eat that. Whoa, what a spicy dish. It's one of our most popular dishes. People love the spice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Whoa. So it reminded me like almost like a chicken tikka, right? Right. But the difference is that you put it in a chili. Yeah, it's a chili marinade. Chili so marinade. it's much more spicier than the chicken tikka over. Oh. And there we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. So creamy. But there's nothing, there's no like meat, there's no penny or nothing, it's, right? It's just pure sad, uh, sort of the sad. So almost just like, a, like an appetizer in a way, right? Well, it's a main course dish. I mean, this is a combo. Sarsuka sag, makiki roti. It's very popular in Punjab. You know, it could be a breakfast food, it could be lunch, dinner, all throughout. You know, it's one of those staples of uh, Punjabi food. See this beautiful gravy? Wow. Look at that, the colors. So we just grab a piece, right? Yep, or just grab a piece. Break it off like that? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. There you go. And, and then from there, same thing, right? We're gonna break the chicken. Break the chicken, dip it in, and voila. Voila, hey, hey man, you eating right, gravy? Cheers. Yep. cheers. Mm. What do you think? Feel the peppers, nice cream, <laughs> tender chicken. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. mm? This and is... then the bread. What about the bread? Oh, nice I love the bread. Soft? Yeah, super, super thin. And again, I said lavash. It is almost identical okay. in terms of, you know, super crispy. It's easy. It's it's meant for this, right? right. It's yep. meant to just go in here mm -hmm. and grab food. Yep. Just dip it in. Oh, I got a big pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. So this is Tunde Kebabi. So I had this in Lucknow at Tunde Kebabi, the, the most famous restaurant there in Lucknow. So good. And this is lamb. So it's basically like a lamb patty. You put it on the pan, it's nice and oily. You it a few times and it's ready. This is absolutely phenomenal. And this goes perfect with that super thin, like almost like pita bread, right? So, no op. Nawab, right? Yep, Chote Nawab means Chote. Little Prince. Little Prince, yeah. yeah. So, city of Lucknow is called uh, something Nawab, right? Nawabi, like it's the Nawabs. It's known for princes. It's uh, more heritage there, a lot of Mughal, people there. Right? Yeah, Mughal, right? exactly. So, how do we start? So, let's start with the tunde kebab. Hands? So we can grab it with our hands, yeah. Perfect. So... Burgers, yeah. with yep. no bun. Yep. Mm. Oh my god. Nice and soft. Mm, nice and soft. Oh, I love, love the flavors in here. The texture is incredible too. Yeah. We have on top of coriander. Yeah, we have coriander, some spices, some garam masala inside. Mm. Next we have the kakori kebab, also lamb. Nice and soft. This is from the tandoor. So very similar. Mm -hmm. but this one, obviously the the masala you guys put on, yeah. the marinade is completely different, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But same mushiness, same animal, right? Right. Yeah. Same lamb. Next up, we got this beautiful salmon. Look at that. So it's definitely gonna be super soft. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously that's in the tandoor oven. Always just like makes it like almost like fall apart. Right? Yeah, it will, and it'll be yogurt marinade. Mmm. I wish I would have started this restaurant for this one. <laughs> Wow, man. Mm. It's so unreal. Seafood in India is yeah. something completely different. It's you know, huge. It's huge. Right. Ooh, look at that. It just falls apart. Yeah, look at that. Look at how meaty it is. And next, we're going to jump on this. So this is the butter paneer. So basically, butter chicken, no chicken. They put cottage cheese. Right. Okay, so this one, obviously, you're going to pair with this beautiful flatbread. Yep. The barata. Right, so you just go in. Mm-hmm. Dip in. Dip in. Get you know get the paneer, paneer just like that. Yeah. 
That tomato sauce would never get old for me. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's like the most, I guess the most common dish in yeah. Western Indian restaurants, mm -hmm. but it's one of the most delicious dishes. It is, definitely. One of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, you can never go wrong with it, right? Yeah. So next up, I have to try this biryani. So this is goat biryani. So for me, the mutton biryanis are usually my favorite, mm -hmm. and that's Hyderabadi style, right? Yeah, Hyderabadi style. Here it go with your hands. Like yep. this. I washed my hands prior to this. So you just go in here. I do it like with my eyes closed. Then you just gotta go in there and get all that chunky go. And to the goat, you're gonna have some bones, yep, right? Some bones. So you have to go in here and really take it apart. Yep. And then you mix. Yeah, you don't wanna be like too much meat. Right. Have a more good mix. a good mix and just like that, very chunky. And then if you want, you can go like this, all right? So I've seen this done. And then they get the whole hand. Mm -hmm. Or you just go like that. Three fingers always. So you, let me know, guys, am I doing it right? The goat. Mm. Okay, so walking around the neighborhood, we found a specialty store called Heritage India Fashion. So what do they have here? Well, basically everything you can name, right? So Bengals, earrings, clothing. These, most of them are for weddings. You know, very traditional clothing, beautiful. So this is something I would put on. You know? Look like I'm a Mughal king here. Right, you like it? Prashant, pleasure. pleasure. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet so you. what else do you have here? Uh, men's clothing, like uh, shirvanis and bungalow jackets and dresses for women, for weddings and so forth, skirts. Awesome. And saris and in, in the heart of New York City. It's amazing. I mean, it literally is like I'm walking into India here in New York. I mean, Curry Hill is awesome. It's All beautiful the saris, man. You know, in Varanasi is where I saw a lot. That's yeah. where they produce a lot of them, right? Yeah, they do a lot of silks. A lot of Varanasi. silks. Yeah. Wow, beautiful store. Thank you. Thank Maybe you. I take something for my daughters. What do you think? So, Tassos, what do you think? Have you ever been into a store like this? I haven't, and it's so nice, bro. And you know what I love about New York and about you know traveling in general? You you go, you know, you walk down the street. New York is 30 countries in one city, so love it here, bro. My man, thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate thank it. You. 131 Lexington, Heritage India Fashion. All right, let's go. And our last spot is Walk in the Clouds. It's not walking, it's Walk. Walk. Yep. walk. So this is a uh, Indo. Chinese. Fusion, yep. so Indo-Chinese. Yep. So if you guys don't know what that is, India, China border each other right there. Yep. You bring all the ingredients from China, you mix the spices from India, and there you go. You got some Thai in there as well, we got some Malaysian. I know we're having some paneer chili. Uh, yes, chili paneer, definitely. my favorite dish. Right. My favorite awesome. Indo-Chinese dish. Right, awesome. Hello, hello, how are you doing? You good? Whoa, this is it. Chili paneer? Yeah. Okay, so they just made four different appetizers. We have the chicken lollipop. Oh, so delicious, really red, vibrant. We have the chili paneer next to it. We also have some momos, which are dumplings in India. And next to it, we also have some spring rolls. Awesome. Everything looks really red, right? And these are appetizers. We also have some pasta noodles. We have some fried rice, and we have another dish, right? Hong Kong food. Yeah. That's gonna be like a, like a sweet salad, right? Sweet and salad, yeah. I don't know about you, but for me, Indo Chinese is like super underrated and it's absolutely delicious. Every dish is so good. It's a lot that uh, people still don't know yet about it. I hope you guys noticed behind me the ceiling. We're walking in the clouds. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different dishes. Mm -hmm. Everything looks incredible. Again, this is Indo Chinese, so it's fusion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So much meat. I love crispy. Yeah, crispy. The marinade is amazing. It's not crazy fried, mm -hmm. lightly, you know, light batter. Way more meat right. than fried here. Mm. And the spice level is okay? Perfect. Okay. I would add something else. We have soya sauce, hot chili sauce, and uh, vinaigrette sauce. Chili vinegar sauce. If it ain't hot, I don't want it. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. No, it's not. That wasn't too hot. Not too hot? Not no, too okay. hot, not too hot. But earlier I had a nasty chili. <laughs> like one of the hottest chilies I've had in a while, but. Mm. I love this. Easy appetizer. Mm -hmm. And again, that is not drumstick. That is the wing. They move all the meat to the very bottom and then they fry. So there is a momo sauce that we have, which is it's a chili sauce. My man's a little scared of the heat. I like to take I'm it easy. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Wow. Nice and soft. Inside. Super <coughs> <laughs> tender. Spicy. Spicy, right? Spicy sauce. That's mm -hmm. why I kept it light. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. I love it. So it's like a sweet and. A little bit of a tangy taste. A little bit of tangy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say sweet and sour, more sweet and tangy, right? Right. Mm hmm. 
But you can go crazy and just go in here too. Of course. My Marantz, this is so good. <laughs> I'm out beating him with the food here. <laughs> it's been a long day, right? It's been a hell of a long day. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Four restaurants, what is this, dish number 24? Something like that, 24, 25. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. Mm-hmm. Mm. This -hmm. made this extra chunky, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Spice level's okay? Spice level's perfect. It's a nice, dense, you know, cube, cottage cheese. You have this incredible, I don't know exactly what you would call this sauce, the chili sauce, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not gravy. This right. is more like, almost like a sweet and chili. Right. Right? But it's awesome. Like, I recommend this every time you eat at an Indian restaurant and they have this, try it. Mm -hmm. Definitely try it. Fried and delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to end with these beautiful Hakka noodles. noodles. Yep. So I had this in uh, Kolkata. So good on the streets. Yeah. Mm. Great. Cheers. Mm hmm. Feels like I'm in China. You know, the taste. Later. Spice levels okay. So easy. Mm -hmm. Love the spring onions. You have onions as well. And over here next to it, we have the fried rice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, spice level perfect. And this is a vegetable fried rice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of chicken in there. A little bit of chicken? I guess well. I'm done. <laughs> so, Thanks. how many times have you eaten Indian food? I would say. Honestly, 20 times. Like, I wish it was more. I okay. wish it was more. Because awesome. I, whenever I have it, I absolutely love it. The flavor is unreal. But it's one thing that it's not easy to cook. And I want it, ever, you know, when you eat it, you want to make sure you go somewhere that's extremely authentic and have it be the best ever. So I'm so glad you took me to this place because now I know this is like good quality, authentic Indian food. So I'm really excited. Yeah, this place is awesome. Really, really good food. They're actually opening another spot in Wynwood, which I can't wait for. It's called like uh, Midnight Masala, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Open super late night. Late night exactly. And yeah, we're going to start off right now with a Kingfisher. Oh, yeah. And you're starting off with a, a little, little prosecco. prosecco. Cheers. Bye. So here at Namaste, we have an incredible menu. We've got appetizers, salads, Indian Royal Special, tandoori's, entrees. I mean, it doesn't end. So what have you tried? I usually when I go to Indian food, I get either butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. I'm like all in on the garlic naan, the rice. And that's usually what I do. I kind of stay safe. So yeah. I'm really excited to try some new things today. So exactly. I trust you. I feel like they're going to bring out like some stuff I wouldn't normally get. So I'm excited. Yeah, so the butter chicken and the chicken tikka masala, those two dishes, this is like, you know, that's the, the basically the intro dishes yeah. in, in the Western <laughs> Hemisphere for, yeah. for Indian food, which is obviously, it's creamy, it's delicious. You pair it with naan. Today we're going to do a little bit of a mix, right? We're going to do some stuff with the tandoor. We're going to do some breads, obviously rice. And I'm going to teach you how to eat with your hands which is yeah. something that people don't know how to do. Uh, you know, have you ever eaten with your hands? Like, obviously, pizzas and burgers, yes, but like, rice? No. Usually, no, no. No, 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's exciting because, you know, it, it, it changes the way you eat, uh -huh. and it's an experience, you know? Yeah, for sure. So, I'm excited. Me too, I'm ready. Uh, let's get into it. I'm, so I'm starving, it's already 1.30, I'm still fasting, by the way. Oh, you do every fasting? Oh, yeah. yeah, every day. I'm on that too, yeah, I do that too. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's, that's how we stay one. fit, right? Until one o'clock, usually. I do like a little nine to one, 16 hour fast, okay. it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. <laughs> We're on the same vibe. Oh, so good. So it's nice red sauce. Is this tofu? What is this tofu? No, no, so, it's, so that's penny, so it's cottage cheese. Oh, okay, this is what we're talking about. Okay, yeah. Yeah, cottage cheese. So cottage cheese is the, the main ingredient for uh, veg dishes in India. So India, because of Hinduism, uh -huh. like roughly 50 plus percent of the Hindu population does not eat any, any animal. Yeah, like any no animal, animal at all. Okay. So they stick to paneer. So paneer is like, you know, so many different dishes. You can have it with spinach, you can have it with, uh, you know, multiple different things, right? Yeah. And let's try it. Let's do it. I think you're gonna love this. I'm so excited. So it's cube square. Get some of that red sauce. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah? Mmm. Oh. Very good. Nice and dense. I love the sauce, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not too spicy. No, it's like a perfect, perfect kick. Mm hmm. I'm excited to try like the peppers and onions, too. So. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna serve you some of that garlic. So this one I have not tried here. We put a lot of sesame seeds all over it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Right? And so it's so, amazing. Yeah, do we have a tail? Yes, yeah, so we do have a tail. So usually they leave a tail because they say the taste is better. Well, eat the whole thing? You, you, so yeah, so you don't eat you don't need to eat the whole thing, you just grab it from the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way you do this one is like this, right? Yep. Yeah, it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my god, I love that. Mm. Not too spicy. That one's really good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a sweet and chili, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Are you big on seafood? I love shrimp. Shrimp's fish, seafood, oh my god, yeah. salmon. Um, salmon, tuna. Salmon, tuna, uh, sushi, everything. Yeah, I love everything? seafood. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah, for me, I could eat seafood every day. I could actually be a pescatarian, mm -hmm. you know, but I like meat. Okay, so next up we have the samosa. So this is aloo samosa, veg version, right? So aloo is potatoes. Mm -hmm. So this is like a, I would say the best comparative here in Miami is empanada. Ooh, yes, okay. I love this. Okay. And, and it's fried. So you just grab one, you throw a little bit of tamarind sauce, Ooh. or tamarind chutney, not sauce. Chutney. Chutney, yeah. So their sauce is called chutney. So I'm just, yeah, we'll just do like that. Ready? Uh -huh. One, two. Mm hmm. Mm. Good. Steaming hot. Steaming hot. Mm -hmm. So inside, you can see potatoes. It's probably some green beans in there. Or, you know, what else is in here? Ooh. Oh, it's hot. It's like, it, like it's, 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 I love the sauce. It's not spicy. It's actually just really it's like, just like just came out the fryer. You know. Yeah. Wait, I love the sauce. It's no, so the good. sauce is amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is for me. This is my favorite chutney and um, coconut one as well. So good. So good. Mm. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. So in India, they'll eat this like wherever you go, you'll find one or two of these, you know, different versions of them. Just grab it and go. Mm. You know, quick bite. This is like street food in India? Mm -hmm. In India? Okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, this is one of the street food items. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Okay, we waited a little while for this. We have <laughs> so many delicious, incredible curries here. Whoa. So we have. Mutton biryani, so that's lamb biryani. Okay, this yum. This is the king of dishes. I'm so excited for this one. This one's This is the money. one. This yeah, is the money. It's the money, and this one we're gonna eat with our hands. You're gonna love it. I'm so excited, let's do it. So we have two breads. We have obviously the garlic naan, amazing, and the parata. So it's a little different type of bread, and it's a little thinner and crispier. Mm -hmm. So we have four different curries here. We have palak paneer, so that's spinach with cottage cheese. We have dal makhani, so this is nice, you know, black lentil dish. It's amazing. This is really popular in Punjab, mm -hmm. so that's a northern uh, state. Over here we have the mango chicken, and then this is coastal lamb curry. Never had this before. So excited about this one too. Looks awesome. So how do we do this? Well, you can pair it with rice or with bread. You know, North India's bread, South India's rice. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Let's do it. This looks so good. So you can do any of them with rice, any of them with bread. I think the best thing to do is use the bread to soak up any of these curries, right? Yes. That, that, you know, this is the best part about this, you know, and curry, you know, that's a British term. Mm -hmm. It's all masalas, you know, all spices, and then they don't call it you know, sauce, they call it gravy. Mm. So yeah, people have corrected me over the years, you know, my fans here. Yeah? They, yeah, they're like, Dave, you're saying it wrong, but now I'm saying it right, and look at this, huge oh my chunks. God, yeah. You want more? No, I'm gonna, no, oh my uh, God, you're too kind. I'm giving you a little chunk there. You're too kind. <laughs> no, I mean, if you like lamb, no, this is lamb. it, yeah, you know? I love lamb. And so we're gonna definitely grab some naan, garlic naan. So you can basically break it like this. This is how they usually do it. So you did it with two hands. You can okay. do it with two hands, but in India you use the right hand, just one hand, right? I got it, I got it. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry. And then you go in wherever you want. So I'm gonna go with the lamb, right? I'll do them too. Okay, so it's like that, nice and chunky. Soaks up some of the gravy, right? And then we just eat. Cheers. Cheers. You ready? Yes. Mmm. 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 Some coconut in here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Almost like a brown gravy. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Very rich, nice and tender. The flavors are amazing. It's like yeah. so savory. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So next up, we're getting mango chicken, and I love the gravy here. Yeah, mm. I'm like I'm nice and rich. Money. That was so good. Oh, it's this. It's this like incredible gravy. So I'm gonna give you some more. I, I need more of this. There's heaven. Yeah, so it made sense. It's good stuff, man. Mm. The mango is so good. Next up, we're gonna get some of this palak paneer with the parata. So a different type of Indian flatbread, right? Oh, and look at that, it's just super creamy. It almost is like a like the spinach cream dip, right? Yes. All right, ready for this bite? Yes. How good is this? 
She knows what she's doing. <laughs> you do a good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. Mm? Mm -hmm. So, lots of spinach there. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like the creamy, creamy spinach dip mm -hmm. with cottage cheese, right? Mm. That took a huge bite. That was really good. Mm -hmm. You taste the spinach though, for sure. Taste the spinach. And the best gravy is the, the mango one, right? For sure. Mango I could drink that one. Oh, I know, I know. That's the best part about that. Mm -hmm. and I love this, uh, the parata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing. Oh my god. I mean, you're never supposed to have a huge bits of this in India. They don't yeah. believe in that, no. So <laughs> you're like, you get a small one. little bite. I'm like, nah, guys, come on. I got a big bite. Yo, I'm like, yeah. I eat like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up we have dal makhni, okay? So this is black lentils. lentils. That's it. So for this, obviously, you can use this or you can use bread. Okay. You know, I always go for the bread. I'll do bread too. It's easier, right? Yeah. It's actually funner using your hands to it eat, is. right? It's more fun. It's an experience. This it's comes different. like a little dangerous thing naturally to me. I'm like, I've never done this before, but I'm like, this is so easy. I love it. I hey, do this all the time. In America, we eat burgers and pizzas with our hands. So true. So yeah. Yeah. Why is this different, you know? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I love lentil soup, so this is really, really good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so dal is a huge thing in India, mm -hmm. obviously, because of the vegetarian aspect. They literally eat dal, lentils, with everything. Everything. And then like a lot of things are made using dal, so like the, the dosa, South Indian crepe, uh -huh. that is made using lentil batter. Mm. So they make batter out of lentils, wow. which is like completely different, right? That's crazy, yeah. Oh. That's awesome. And next up we have the king of dishes. So this yes. is my favorite thing on the planet. Most people cannot have an Indian feast without biryani. I can imagine. Yes. Yeah, and I have so friends good. that'll eat this all day long. Right? I can eat that entire bowl right now. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. You're gonna eat the whole bowl. It's so good. Like multiple layer rice dish and this one has the lamb. So in India they call it mutton. So I'll put it to the side here. So you can have this chicken. What's the most popular? Lamb, chicken? Lamb so mutton, chicken, and then veg. Okay. And I actually love their veg biryanis because it's like they put egg in it, you know. It's, oh nice. So I wanna show you how to eat this because okay. a lot of people get this wrong. This is meant to be eaten. Con la mano. Yeah. You ready? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so Are you me how to do it? it's very easy, right? So you have five fingers. I use these three bottom ones. Okay. okay. So I go in there. I break up with everything. So you break the mutton. I go in, break it. Mm -hmm. Feels good, right? Feels nice and warm. And obviously, we moved a few of the gravy, so we didn't mix too much. But that you can mix the gravies, any of these sauces or gravies, with this. Uh -huh. Oh, it's amazing. Oh my god. So you break it up, and then what you do is you mix everything, right? I made this one really chunky. Lots and lots of lamb here, and then after that, you just go like that. You don't have to get too big a bite. Just go like this. Usually, put them on the three bottom fingers. Okay. And then from there, straight into the mouth. Use your thumb to push in, like this. Mm. Mm hmm Good, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Lamb. What's lamb all day. All day. Yeah, we had two lamb today. This lamb, this lamb, and this one. Mm hmm Whoa. And then if you want, you can add some of this, like, onto it. Oh, like yeah. This. Like, boom. Yeah. Here, I'll give you yeah, a little. A little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Oh, nice with the gravy. This is fun. Mm hmm This is good. It's an experience, right? This is a vibe, for sure. Mm hmm Men in India, this is how you eat. Every Everything. meal. Yeah, I mean, it, it's good. I mean, obviously, wash your hands before. I was gonna say, yeah. And uh, besides that, just go out to town and never leave any grain, right? Like that. Like this comes so natural. This is unreal. I love it. It comes naturally to me, it's yeah. It's crazy. People do this too, like they uh, make a ball. Yeah. But I just get this, like that. Wow. That's the way to do it. Mm. They're, they're doing it right. But you feel that like, filling you up, right? Yeah. So sorry, I'm going to put it right here on the side. Oh, so, yeah. so right there is another um, yogurt sauce. It has uh, cucumbers. Uh, I'd say it's almost like the, the Indian tzatziki. Yeah, no, I, I can tell like I'm going to love this. Yeah, I can tell and, you, love this. and you could like mix it if you want like that. In South India, they do that big time because it calms down heat. Or yeah. you could just have a spoon at the end mm -hmm. to just like, you know. No, it actually helps oh. with making it into like a nice little ball like that. Oh, it's like a great paste almost, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like a binder. Yeah. And then yeah. how big do you want to do it? Go in. Like that? Yeah. Ready. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. 
So tasty. Very mm. good. I love this. Okay, we have dessert. Are you ready for that? Yes. Yeah? I'm so full, but I feel like we always have room for dessert. We have to. I mean, this is Indian desserts. India is all about sweets, especially if you go to the Bengal, like West Bengal. Mm -hmm. It's all about the sweets. Here we have Indian ice cream. It's called kulfi, okay? So it's actually a mix, almost like, I say this many times, but the textures is like a mix between sorbet mm -hmm. and ice cream. Ooh. It's a little Love more both. dense. Okay. You know, it's really, really nice. And then over here we have gulab jamun. Gulab jamun is basically milk balls that are doughy and they're soaked in sugar syrup. This is like the king of desserts in India. It's number one. Right down my alley. Yeah, yeah. no, so I like that. I think you're gonna try this first. Okay. So we just go in here and cut. Right, just like that. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's milky. It's yeah, I think they put some coconut shavings on top, oh, maybe. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Right? Uh-huh. So just grab a little bit. Get some of that sugar syrup right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's so sweet. So much sugar. It's the sweetest thing I think I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. And imagine, if you can also drench in sugar syrup, so it's like even more sweet. Wow. That's so rich too. And it's like, so it's rich. just sweet actually. It's light, but it's sweet. Yeah. Mm. yeah. In India, Mm, I'm kind of in a pistachio mood. Pistachio, okay, so let's, I mean, I'm gonna try all of them, obviously. Let's try it, let's try it. Let's do this one. Yeah, and there's actually like chunks of pistachio yeah. inside, right? Is this, usually you would eat this on a popsicle, like walking around? Or I, you... I've actually, I've seen that one time. Okay. And they literally did that on the street. Yeah, I so bet. They, they have like an ice machine or something, they put efficient. it in, and then boom, pull it out. Oh, wow. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Again, dense. Still ice cream. Yeah. But it's a little different. I see what you mean by like the texture is kind of like sorbet and ice cream. It's like a mix, right? Mm -hmm. Really good. And like the crunch on top is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Crunchy pistachio. Over here we have okay. mango. I love mango. So Mango's my favorite fruit. Oh, and mango curry is my favorite one, so. And mango's the national yeah. fruit of India. <gasps> mm-hmm. As it should be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is crazy. This is the best one I could tell. That's so good. Mm. Mm. I love mango. Nothing is better than a ripe mango. Like, yeah. Oh my god. The best. Exactly. Dulce de leche. That's caramel, right? Dulce de leche is basically sugar. Really? Dulce de leche is like a sugar. Oh, three, oh, three milks. Kind yeah, of. Dulce it, de leche. It, dulce de no. leche. No, so tres leches. Tres leches. Okay. Tres leches. It's a little different. <laughs> dulce de leche is straight sugar. It's a Latin American uh -huh. thing. That's why, obviously, they're catering to the Latin American crowd. Yeah. Obviously, this is huge. We are the capital of Latin America here in Miami. Of course. Mm -hmm. So let's do this one. Yeah. And they slice it up for us. You can also just it's grab easy. the popsicle, yeah. right? I love this dulce de leche Hagen dazs ice creams. Mmm. 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 And you have the saffron there, pistachio as well. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. That's like a very different flavor than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, they're all completely different. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the same texture, mm -hmm. but everything inside is different, different flavor profile. Yeah. I love this food. So good. So good. What was your favorite dish today? Hands down the mango curry with, I love it with the bread and the rice together. Like the, the mango chicken mm -hmm. with the bread and the and the rice was so good. Yeah. yeah that was my favorite. I think what so. For me today, I had today like the garlic shrimp. Oh, the garlic shrimp. I forgot about the garlic shrimp. The mango curry. There. Yeah, it was up Top there. Top two, yeah. And also the, the lamb, coastal lamb curry was good. It has yes. a little bit of uh, coconut in it, mm -hmm. but the biryani. Hands oh down. God, so good. We took that to go. It's gonna be so good later. To go, yeah. 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 She has dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're using utensils today, my man. We're using I'm hands. Right. All day hands. Are we? I've turned it over on me. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Backup. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna start off with two lassies, a sweet lassie, the regular one, and then the mango lassie. Wait, wait. What is lassie? Yeah, okay. So lassie is a yogurt drink in okay. India. Okay, so this is what they basically drink every single day, usually super hot temperature in India, you drink this to cool down, or you have it oh. after eating spice. It's refreshing. Super refreshing. So you didn't have this yet, right? Never. Never? never. never. Okay, never. awesome, awesome. But you, I you have didn't. try Indian food like here, but I have never like, some specific stuff I haven't. So okay, and I mean, you know a lot of stuff though, because you know a few of the things on the menu. Yeah, I know a few things on the menu, but like by the name, not really, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> and then, yeah, so we have both lassies, so I mean, it is really hot in Miami, That's and uh, so this one is mango, and this one is mm -hmm. Re regular, just sweet, regular right? Just sweet. And the mango is because obviously we're in South Florida, but in India, mango is a national fruit. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, there's a lot of mangoes in Colombia too. Mm hmm. 
Mm. Oh, it's good. It's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. Good. Yeah, this one's like very sweet. If you want to go the sweet route, yeah. you can do this. I love that one. It's actually really refreshing. Well, my friend, I am ready to eat. This is amazing. It looks so good. So I'm pretty sure that's another like tamarind sauce. So I guess we'll just dip it and see, right? Let's dip it. I guess we'll try this first. Remember, we have to take it oh. a little slow today. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And you eat everything, right? You right, eat everything. Chicken. Yeah, everything. Vegetables. Mm-hmm. Just fall off the bone. Yeah. That's the tandoori, right? The tandoori, the bacon, mm -hmm. you know, the oven. So good. Mm-hmm. Smoky. I like super soft, tender. Mm-hmm. Like right the sauce? Yeah, it has like a little kick. It's mm -hmm. kind of sweet, but... Oh, delicious. Mm. You know, so there's nothing like having tandoori wings. Very different from mm -hmm. having like regular ones. Yeah. And also they what they do is they don't put the sauce after, they put the sauce before so it bakes with it. You know the marinade. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dig in here. Let's just dig in. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. I love this one. Mm-hmm. And this one's so good. So we have bell pepper, we have some onions, and we have chili, basically chili paste mixed. So it's like Indian Thai? No, Indian Chinese. Indian Chinese? Yeah. Mm. And also, I feel this drink helps you with the spices since mm -hmm. it has sugar, right? If it's too spicy, that's the main purpose. Yeah, yeah, to keep to like calm down the heat. So you have been to in India, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, or so four big trips, mm -hmm. and then the last time I had a quick twelve-hour connect to escape pandemic. So I came from a different country, I had to connect there. But uh, yeah, so four really big trips. So I spent like something like 62 days of my life so far in India. So this food is very accurate to the Indian It one? is accurate, yes. No. And I think this one is the one that will blow your mind. Uh, you don't get it this beautiful on the streets, but it's more <laughs> like a street food item. Yeah. So it's a chat. Chat is street food. Yeah. And it's gonna be super, you know, it's like tropical. At the same time, it calms down the heat because it's very refreshing. See, so right there is like the samosa. Similar to empanada, but, okay. but the inside is potatoes always. That's the veg version. They have oh. different versions too, you know? So the chickpeas? So you have chickpeas, you have the sev. The sauce. The sauce, so it's basically yogurt and mixed with tamarind, so yeah. And then little things, what it's called? Th that's sev. Sev? Sev. It's like a, like a crunch? It is a crunch, so a lot of crunch in Indian cuisine. And this one, obviously we're using utensils. We'll, yeah. we'll use hands later, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do they eat everything I have there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you eat it? With a bread? Mm-hmm. With bread, for sure. Oh, okay. Mm. So good. So good, right? It's sweet, kind of sweet. The sweet is this, mm -hmm. the tamarind. It's mixed all throughout. It's incredible. If this again, this is like my favorite plus the coconut. Sweet. The coconut? Yeah. We're getting some coconut fish, right? Mm-hmm. Today we're actually getting a dish we haven't had before. I think it's a uh, fish vindaloo, I think it said. But we have the veg pakoras next. I think we should definitely jump on them. I think you'll like this. Yeah, this one I have to never try. And uh, if you want like that, or we just like... No, you have to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I like it. So you got onion, potato. I think any kids think potato is good. It's, it's all potato. <laughs> it, like India, that's what they use to like mix everything together almost. Like oh, really? It. Yeah, because it... it you know, it glues it together. I don't like their flour. A tamarind chutney? Yeah, it's sweet. Mm hmm. You want more? Okay. Mm. Tamarind is like a like a fruit. <laughs> tamarind is a fruit. She's fun. A plus. Ay, demasiado, no? <laughs> I don't know where to start. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll just get a little bit of everything, or yeah, yeah, let's do it. Well, this is the lamb, right? That's the lamb. All right, so right here. This side. So I like everything you usually eat it with, like the naan. North India is all bread. Mm -hmm. So you have roti, naan, paratha. South India, it's all rice. This is the king I, of dishes. I love rice. I know, rice I know. Is my thing. <laughs> and, and that has everything. That has vegetables, it has uh, nuts. Yeah, I don't have. Pescado, no? Fish. That, that one oh, I haven't tried before. Look at this. What? Okay, okay so. so beginning. Yeah, so let go of that fork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First thing. And then if you want, so that's a big piece. So what you should do is like this. Okay. You go like that, just separate it. I cannot separate it like that? Because uh, you're not supposed to use that left hand. Oh, I didn't know. Wait, but why? Okay, so why you don't use your left hand is very easy. <laughs> <laughs> you use this <laughs> to clean. This. Oh, okay. Cut. Well, oh. I didn't know it was like... 
Yeah, because sometimes in India they tell me that the bites are, you know, I get too much, but, you know, I don't think so. It's a good bite, right? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Mmm. You get the lamb? Mm hmm. So good. It's like gravy. Oh my god. Yeah, the gravy is delicious. It's like extra. It's like with cashew. Mm hmm. Mmm. Cashew and then the lamb is super tender. Extremely tender. Oh man, I love this gravy. Mm. And big chunks of lamb, look at that. They didn't skimp out at all. Whoa, so it's the way you do it, right? I mean, obviously if you want to, you can use your fork. Mm -hmm. I prefer doing it the Indian way. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's so Yeah. Mm. But like, how do they eat rice? Also in the Yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna really do it correctly today. Mm. Fine. How do I do this? Easier. And then you oh, just okay. use like that. Okay. And separate. Yeah, you get the hang of it really fast, right? Oh. And then what do we want to eat? The butter chicken? The butter chicken. Let's do butter chicken. Now I'm getting the small bite. Small bite. As Smaller. <laughs> I love that dish. Wow. Is so, that one of the most popular, right? It's, it is the most popular dish in like the Western Hemisphere, mm -hmm. the Indian restaurants. So there's two different dishes. There's butter chicken. And then it's chicken tikka masala. Mm -hmm. Chicken tikka masala is very similar, a little redder. Oh, I think I have to try one. And that, you know what that is? The national dish of England. Oh, really? There's that many Indians there. Well, because wow. Great Britain, you know, they, they, they had the British Raj, so mm -hmm. India was conquered by the Brits for, I don't know the, the, the dates right now. History, guys, here. History, yeah, so 18 something, you know, <laughs> till 1967, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then when they broke off, they basically, that's why they say curry, that's why I say a lot of things, but a lot of Indians have immigrated to the UK. Okay. Huge Indians out there. Wow, I, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, they say the London Indian food is the best outside of India. And Have I haven't tried? been. Not yet, not okay. yet. I'm okay. gonna do it 24 hours there soon. <laughs> I'm, do, I'm gonna do it 24 hours there, I'm gonna do 24 hours in every city. No say, no say. <laughs> Should we do the fish next? Yeah, this is the fish. The fish looks amazing, look at this. I'm learning here. Oh, you are, look at that. Oh, Wait, but it's super meaty. Small. Okay. Too small, right? I'll try. And get some of that gravy. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. It's so fish. Mm. I love it. Mm. The coconut. Coconut. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Look how chunky this is. Incredible. But yeah, I'm a big fan of coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me too. They're good. We have it a lot in Florida. <laughs> oh wait. Fun fact, you know? Tell me, tell me. Coconuts is like one of the most things. I don't know if the most, but they kill people because when they come in. No way. Yeah. Yeah, it passed. I swear I read about it. <laughs> a high kill rate. High kill rate, yeah. <laughs> I swear! No, I'm sure, I'm sure you're, you're true on that. You can look it up. Hey, you know, I've seen them fall on my parents. They have a bunch of trees <laughs> and they fall from really high. It's dangerous. Yeah, if, if they fall on the car, destroy yeah. the car. But they're really yummy. Yeah, they're so, really yummy though. They're yummy. Be careful though. Oh, I'm gonna have some more. Get it, you, you're gonna have more fish. Yeah, I, no, I have oh, you have, you have? Yeah. Mm, yummy, yummy food, huh? Mm, so good. Like my favorite is the lampasanda. I'll always come here and get that get one. Get that one. That one, the butter chicken. The fish is the first time I tried and I love it, so mm -hmm. for sure I will order it next time. And this is really good. It's my first time also trying it. First time? Yeah. Wow. And the fish is so easy to eat. So soft. So soft. And it's not dry, it's like bright, mm -hmm. like cooked to the point, you know? So what do you, what do you think of me eating kumi mano así? It's okay, right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't know, because some people are like, hey, that's weird. I'm like, hey guys, this is that's like... That's how they eat there. It's part of the culture, you know, before exactly utensils were invented, culture. We're eating, you know? Yeah, so, it's culture. It's know. culture, yeah. Does it look appetizing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks yummy though. Looks like you're enjoying the food, you know? I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna get on the butter chicken next. Mm, I love that sauce. They actually like the sauce of the lamb more, right? Yeah. So like if they see this thing, they'll just do this, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, teach and me how just, to eat rice. Yeah, and then they just mix it in. So this is how you eat rice, right? So you just use your hands, obviously wash your hands before this, move all of it into there, and just like that. Oh. And then right there, you keep it, try to keep it on these lower three fingers, right? 
and then you use the thumb to push into your mouth. There is a technique, so like, I mean, I see. So like, that, uh, I mean, people go crazy and they like don't want to lose one grain yeah. of rice, which obviously is because. Oh, when you're really hungry and you just wanna you yeah. know, take the whole bite. Take the whole bite, <laughs> so like that. And... Mm -hmm. When you learn this, now you know how to eat. In India. In, in, just in general. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna dive on to the king of dishes, the biryani, and this for sure is yes it's the vegetable biryani right yeah so this is a layered rice dish so there's three layers here basically okay this is the basmati rice and then they add all these different things into it right it's so good and the sauce so yeah so if you can have it alone so maybe we should try it alone and we can put the raita on the side all right like that so this is yogurt mixed with like tomatoes things cucumber as well a few different things right and this is the veg biryani, right? Grab it like this, you know? Okay. Mix it a little bit. Okay. If you want, mix what you want over here. And you mix, right? And you make it... Like a bowl. <laughs> like a bowl, but you're doing it super delicately. <laughs> so, this is the way you do it, right? In India, they do it like that. Okay. And then some people, they get the whole thing in their hand, like a huge ball, and they put it here in the palm. Oh. I don't, I go like this, is what the way I was taught in Hyderabad. You go like that, and you use the the, uh, the thumb to push in. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's and the then technique. You, the technique. So you go okay. like this, and okay, straight wait. like this. Right? Mm. Mm hmm. Tastes the same, though. Tastes the same, <laughs> but actually. This is the primitive way. <laughs> no, no primitive way. This is the real way. I mean, like nowadays, you know, India has become so forward. I know, I know. If you want to be extra special, you add that there. Oh. That's what I do. <laughs> I won't get too much, bro. We got this to go. Okay. I'll pack it right now for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, sir. So I do this. I'll, I'll mix it. Yeah, your hands are gonna get dirty. I know. Don't worry, I got a bunch of this. <laughs> we can use it <laughs> whenever you want. But the main thing with this is just to enjoy your food, you know. And as we both do it, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, you're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing here? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. With the um, kashi sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you mix this biryani with any of the sauces. It's always going to be mm -hmm. good. I, I really like it, though. I love it. No? So, Indian food is like a lot of spices, right? It's like the main thing? That's the main thing with Indian food, spices. You know, all the spices of the world come from India. Mm -hmm. And usually, most of them come from that area I told you in the south, Kerala. It's like yeah. where the spice trade started. Vasco da Gama, you know Vasco da Gama is? No. Uh, Portuguese explorer. Okay. He's the one who developed the, tr the spice trade by sea. It, they used to go by land, crossing okay. todo, you know, crossing all the Middle East, but yeah, yeah. Europa. And then he's the one who discovered it, and that was, uh, I don't know exactly, it's like 1490s around there. It's the same time Christopher Columbus basically discovered America, that's when that was created. So I was showing Carolina how to eat Indian food correctly, but <laughs> she didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> but you're eating a lot, look at you. I can eat. You like Indian food? Oh my god, it's so good. So good. So we have two things to try for dessert. Ras Malai, which is my favorite, that has been condensed with milk, rice, saffron, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> and then right here we have the pistachio kulfi. So kulfi is Indian dessert. My best comparison is think between a sorbet mm -hmm. and ice cream. Just the texture of it. Okay. Because a little harder. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's not as soft as you can see. It's not really melting right now. It's hot outside. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, so like you just go in here. Look at that. It's like a yeah. fluffy pillow. So good. Oh, so good. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I love milk desserts. Mm hmm. So it's very sweet. It's soft. It has like a. Um, super fluffy. Yeah. And then the saffron on top, too, right? What is saffron? Mmm. I'll show you. <laughs> so the spice, the spice comes from flour. <laughs> so for me, this reminds me of almost like arroz con leche. Similar, yeah. Similar. So in Latin America, that's the best comparative, right? Yeah, yeah. But this one... Pistachio. Let's leave it to the side. And you can finish it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I eat enough today. Now it's melting. But you see the texture, right? Yeah. It's like super dense. And you have some almonds here, almond shavings. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Mm. Mm hmm. Very dense. Yeah. Mm. Sounds amazing, huh? Yeah. But it has more like a, 
I don't know the flavor. Well, I think it's this. Yeah. This like red, uh, I think like a cranberry syrup. Yeah. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Oh, brain freeze, my teeth. Really? <laughs> Muy frío. Wow. I love it. Hey, another person has been converted to the Indian realm. I mean, I love this dessert. Yeah, yeah. No, this dessert's awesome. It's like my favorite part of the meal. Is it? Uh, which one is yours like? Oh, I I'm very savory. <laughs> and that is it, my friends, eating Indian food with I'm not sorry, darling Carolina. <laughs> So what do you think, Adam? I love it. I love this restaurant. You definitely have to come. I mean, the Indian food is so good. I mean, I have to go to India to be able to compare, but I love it here. And so what's your favorite dish from what we had today? So I love the cheese ones. The cheese so chili rice. paneer, okay. Chili paneer, the lamb fasanda, and um, what else we tried? The rice. The rice, so the biryani. The biryani. The mango lassi. Oh yeah, for sure. I have never tried these before and I love it. Really good. And by the way, it's spelled lassi, lassi. but it's lussi. Lucy. Lucy. Uh, yeah, people are correcting me online. They're like, you're saying it wrong, but uh, it's all good. This is Bombay Dabar in Coconut Grove. This is an amazing restaurant. You have to come when you're in Miami. Just the sure. best Indian food. So delicious. Oh my God, I, I'm thinking about what to take home tonight. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything, yeah. yeah this I'm is big Oshoka Indian Cuisine. I've never been to this restaurant. It's in like West Aid. I guess right here is by the airport, right? So Flagler, 82nd Fountain Avenue. Blue. Fountain Blue, exactly. Mm -hmm. And today we're gonna be eating a mix between North and South. So how much do you know about Indian food? Um, not very much. I have tried a couple of restaurants, so I love Indo Chinese. Um, Indo Chinese, okay. Yes, that's one of my favorites, like oh. the paneer chilies. Oh, the paneer chilies! Um, you, you killed me with that one. That's the best. <laughs> that is my ultimate Indo Chinese dish. So we're excited. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna meet with the owner. Then we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna see them make some dosas, maybe some curry, some naan. Let's go inside. Listo. Oh. Good morning, David. Ready to go? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming and joining us at Ashoka. Here is one of our house liquors, John. We're starting off some John this early. <laughs> so I actually tried this the other day. This is John. This is like pan liquor, right? Yes, indeed. We're gonna try something. Well, it's 11:30. You, you, yeah. You're done. Well, this is brunch now. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, Dave. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? Exactly. So what are you gonna make for us? I'm gonna make you something called pan Havana, Ashoka's uh, specialty drink. Um, a little tropical because we're in Miami. So let's see how it goes. I haven't tried mine yet. I haven't opened the bottle. amazing right it's like sweet yeah, and it's the fragrance really nice. right yeah like that's the pan mm. that is pan plus pan coconut Havana. water right oh my god that's amazing make me another roll no i'm joking i'm joking i'm good i'm good right now fresh all right guys time to go into the kitchen let's see them making some dosas we're gonna do masala maestro masala hey que tal? Hello. everything Hi. good guys hello 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 chef yeah what's up man how you doing good good what are you making over there yeah you're making nice Making some fresh yeah, yeah. Can you make the video? Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Isa, do you know what this is right here? That is naan, garlic naan, right? Oh, or the oven? Yeah. No, I don't know what you don't the know? oven is. So this is the tandoor. This is what you have to have in every Indian kitchen. Clay oven. Clay oven. This is the best. 500 degrees, right? Yeah. And it sticks like to the side of it, right? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a batter for the dosa. You may call it uh, Indian crepes. Have you tried a dosa before? Yeah, I have tried it. It's like lentil flour. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's like really thin and really crispy at the same time. Oh, so you know your stuff. Okay, she knows her stuff. So this is the dosa lentil batter, right, to make the crepe. Sometimes super thin, crispy, sometimes, you know, with some dough. And that's ready? It's ready? Wow, that's good. Potato masala. Wow. Beautiful. So you're excited or what? 
I'm so excited. Like I want to eat right now. That looks awesome. So what are you making there? I'm making Kerala beef fry, South Indian dish. No way. And it's uh, dry. This, by the way, is one of my favorite dishes in India. You know, most of India doesn't eat beef, but in Kerala they love beef. This is so good. It looks amazing. Yeah, it's like and, a... and the smells and the spices. Mm, right? So you have all the spices right here lined up. I love the way you guys did it. So you can just like, literally pop it in. And th this is more like a dry curry. Your dry masala, right? Yeah. More dry. Yeah, because it's not as thick and creamy, right? They had no cream here, like compared to these, right? Yeah. That's like butter chicken. That's like lamb rogaine. Rogaine josh. The lentil, boiled lentil. The smell, it's like I just want to all. Who's going to do a jersey in a salad or a little one today? Fennel powder. That's a lot of onions. Yeah, yeah, onion sauce, yeah. Onion yeah, sauce. Onion sauce. sauce. There's onion in everything in India. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Lamb chop. Yeah. Blend of spices. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be delicious. Biryani masala. This is chicken. So what's exactly the biryani? Alvi. Alvi. Mushir Alvi. Mushir Alvi. Yeah. Pleasure. Biryani. Yeah. 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 Then Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks guys. Hey, my man, thank you. This is a uh, raita mm -hmm. and this is a uh, pickle. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Let's go. Ahí está. Okay, we're finally ready. We have so many amazing dishes here. What do we got? We got um, chili paneer. Dosa, mm -hmm. um, some garlic naan. Exactly. Uh, Priyani. Priyani. And we got this one, which is not showing here. Yeah, the beef fry Kerala style. So if you guys don't know Kerala, that state does eat beef. It's not taboo there. This is amazing. Yes. Like you will love it. And then over here to the right, we have lamb chops. I've never seen lamb chops like this with the gravy. Coconut wow. gravy. Is it coconut gravy? Yeah, no way. it is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. The curry leaves too. You can smell it. Mira, mira. Uh, oh my god, that's wow. wow. That's This wow. is the best part about and Indian food, right? It's gonna have a really good kick to it. I, yeah, I feel it. For sure. And before everything is too cold, let's jump on this guy. The dosa? Yeah, so this is the masala dosa, so they stuffed it with potatoes, right? Okay, Listo? okay let's dig in. And this oh, one we're using hands. We're using hands. Okay, well. Just for, for this hands. one, just okay. for this one. Okay. The best thing to do is open it, like tear a hole, and then right there you see it. Mm. Wow, beautiful, potatoes. right? Potatoes? Yeah, it's just basically like a, a mashed potatoes with a few different things. Not too many masalas. They put some seeds in there. I forgot what that is. Looks great. What we do is just rip off a piece, right? I see. So I use one hand. Yeah, one hand. Rip off a piece. And then you go in here and just grab a little bit. Like you make like a little, like a little taco. Like a pocket. Okay. No, coconut, coconut. Coconut? Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Night and crispy. Yeah, night and crispy. Not crazy crispy, still a little doughy, right? Yeah. But I like the, the mash, right? So the alu. So uh, potatoes in Hindi is alu. Oh, alu. Right? So it, it's nice. It's, it's easy to eat. This is like traditional South Indian breakfast. And if you go to the state of Tamil Nadu, uh -huh. where the Chennai is, is we're gonna eat every day. Mm. You know? And yeah. I love this one. That one, I'm sure, is amazing too. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. What do you want to try next? Um, paneer. Mm hmm. Please. Is the best. I mean, to get it, we just pick, right? Yeah, let's just pick. This first time I tried it was in Mumbai. Cheers. Fell in love. Mmm. I'm loving. Mm -hmm. okay, who doesn't love cheese? I mean. <laughs> I know. But I love this 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 specific, right? Mm. It's not too spicy. You can no. have it very spicy if you want. This is Indo Chinese. This is Indo Chinese, right? yeah, yeah. This was like basically invented. Indo Chinese was invented mm. in uh, Kolkata in an area there called Tangra which mm. is like Chinese immigrated there and then they started using the, like their ingredients mixed with the spices of India mm. that's how so it all their food it's Indian the, spices exactly that's okay. the fusion of Indo Chinese wow mm. no this is this one is delicious mm. I love this one you want some beef fry yes please this is gonna be epic oh look at the curry leaves mm. there's so many spices in here uh, yeah I mean there are but I like because it's like a dry. It's dry. It's almost like a stir fry in a way, right? Yeah. And it's broken into like little chunks. Mm. Listen. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 Curry leaves. The fennel seeds. Mm-hmm. A little bit of coconut too. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm. Really good beef. So you ready for this? Yeah, I got already excited and I was trying it. You tried it already? <laughs> no. It's because it's so good. It looks so good. Oh yeah, so. Sorry, I have to use my hands for this one. You go with your hands. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Yeah. It's smoky. It's juicy. Mm. It's a little crunchy too. And then you have all the, the curry like oh running throughout. Cheers. So juicy. Mmm. 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 Mm. Wow. The closer to the bone, mm -hmm. the softer the meat. Mmm. This? Yeah, no words. No words. No, no words. words. <laughs> I mean, this, this like masala. Oh, that's one thing in India. Noriyaman curry. They they call it masala. masala. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. What I love about this is that we didn't just do like standard dishes. We did a big mix, right? Yeah. This one and the beef fry, taking the cake for me. The paneer for me. Mm hmm. The well, the lamb and the paneer. She does put like that. Or like that, and you go like this. With one hand? Yeah, you just break it really fast. Because you're never supposed to really use the left unless you're lefty. Okay. But that's how you do it, and then you go in. Can, can I have some of those sauce? Oh, see, see. Mmm, mmm, mm. yes. You know it's good food if the drooling goddess is drooling. <laughs> <laughs> I am drooling, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you're going to town. I've been, I've been eating non-stop. <laughs> I'm going to pull this guy out. Look at this. Have to. Uh, How beautiful this is. Yes. <laughs> mm. Yes. This like deserves this. We're on top. It was the best lamb chops ever. Yeah. Ever. For sure. The meat gets more, more and more tender every time you get into the bone. Like. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up, we have the biryani. The biryani. So you had this before? No, never. No. Okay. This is great. And then, uh, so this is basically a mixed layered rice dish all okay. right so in the beginning during the Mughal empire the kings were served this regular people like us you know mm -hmm. we're not we're not regular people but okay. you know what i mean um <laughs> but that they weren't served this now it's become like the ultimate dish it's like the king of dishes and you can get it like with mutton so goat Yum. you can get it with chicken which is what we got you can get it with lamb you can get it with shrimp the, i mean you can get it plain you can get it with the uh, paneer Different as well yeah they changed proteins. they changed that are you lefty or righty? I'm right. Okay, you're righty. Okay, so no fucking knife. We're gonna go in here. This is what we do. Right? <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. David wants me to eat with my hands. At, at least one time. Try it. Try okay, it. at least one so, time. So I'll explain to you the, the reasoning behind this, okay? okay? They say that you really feel the food with your hand. Okay. And the pure taste comes without the spoon because the spoon or the fork is metallic. So once it okay. hits your mouth, you get this metal taste. Like this, so you it don't. Doesn't... So kings and queens used to do this. <laughs> 
I'll tell you, in India, everybody does this. <laughs> okay, let's go. Especially south, right? Okay, let's Sitting go. Sitting going, yes, yes. Oh my god. So just break it up. So you break up the chicken, right? Okay. And then you, you just mix it in with everything, and then you start going like this. Let's see. <laughs> David, wow. See, okay, see. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say something though. You know, when you're in South India, if you pick up a spoon or a fork, I think people will look at us funny. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so we're in Miami ready? doing it the Indian way. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, ready? So, how do you grab it? So, this is what you, you have do. a technique. Yeah, so you use the five elements, right? The five fingers, five elements. Yeah. Go like this into a ball. Then you put it on here. You don't have here. to put a big bite, you can get a smaller bite. Okay, right. So, whatever you want. And then, ready? Listo. Mm. I didn't tell you the main thing. Mm -hmm. You gotta push with your thumb. Alright. Okay? And if you yeah. want. Yeah, wait, the biryani is so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't give a second to react to it, but it's amazing. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Wow. This is horrible eating with your hands, but it's so good. Is it horrible? Mm -hmm. No! The right up. I would say put it on the side. So like I can do like this too. This is on top. And then this actually glues it all together. Like when you start doing it, mixing it in. So you so when you start putting all the rice, so move everything together. Now mix it all together. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. The sauce. Nice and cold. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Love that it's cold actually. Yeah, yeah. So good, right? Oh, it's That's so nice. good. It's just like without the meat, right? Without the Chicken? Well, we like eating rice with your hands is not typical, but like we eat wings, oh, yeah. burgers, pizza. Pizza, exactly. Yeah. So, what's the difference? Why are we well, looked down upon it? I think it's a little bit more messy. <laughs> it's definitely more messy, but it's fun, right? Yeah, it, it is fun. It's, it is fun. Mita? Uh, yeah, I'll do mita. I see, mita. And then you just like let it drown, right? Like, I know, look at this. Oh, <sighs> wow. It looks like a grape. Yeah, right? It actually, uh, it's named after a fruit, like as a look. Or jamun is the fruit, is a fruit. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, I didn't expect that at all. Super sweet. No, I like it though. Mm -hmm. It's the texture and the sweetness pairs it per perfectly. Perfect, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it should have, it should be hot. Like the sugar syrup, mm -hmm. this should be like nice and hot. Next up, we got Ras Malai. Mm. Jump on it. You're gonna love it. I think you're gonna love it. I'm excited. Yeah, if you like. The yeah, paneer. I like paneer. Mmm. Mm. That's saffron. Mm hmm. That's the saffron. Mm. Mm hmm. Wow. So good. Wow. I know. Wow. It's like crumbly. I cannot believe it. It's like, it's just dry. And it has a different texture from paneer. Mm hmm. So, mm. the paneer we have there yeah. is hardened. It's still soft. It's soft. Mm -hmm. Como cuando está coagulado, how do you exactly. say it in Spanish? Yeah, yeah, like a sorry, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but not really sorry, right? No, no, it's amazing. So what I do is I get this guy and I combine it with this guy and I make gulab malai, the ultimate dessert, my friend. Wow. Mm. You need to try this together. Together. Oh, and soak it up with that sugar syrup. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. I have no words. That was too good. Mm hmm And then we have the kheer. It's, it's good. Just, you know, rice pudding. But I think you should just jump on that one. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so hard. Mmm. Delicious. You can really taste the mango. Like, I'm literally eating the mango itself. Okay, my friend, what did you think? Oshoka. I Oshoka. Love Ashoka. Ashoka. Love it, love it. You should come here, guys. It's really good. The biryani, the paneer, and again, what? The what? gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Yes, mm, yes. Delicious. Like, Incredible. highly recommend. Yes. For sure. So, this restaurant is located on 82nd Avenue and Flagler, literally, like, right here next to the airport. Amazing food. They got a bar, a big restaurant. They actually do, they're gonna do some remodeling. So when you come here, let's say you know 2022, it's gonna be a little different. But incredible menu, right? So they have a la carte and they have buffet Monday through Friday for sure, 13.99. Delicious food. I'm super happy you came. Thank you for inviting me. The drooling goddess. Yes, Look sir. Look at this goddess, <laughs> Venezuela right here. Go. On. Wow, Olga, are you ready? Yes. All right, so <laughs> Olga is a Colombian subscriber here in Miami, and she wrote me because she loves Indian food. She actually dressed up like Bollywood style, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so you've eaten Indian food a lot, right? You're like an addict. Yes, yes. Probably maybe 
twice a month. <laughs> okay, twice a month. Yes. Wow, so today what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna have a full on meal, probably gonna have like five to seven dishes. I can't wait, I'm excited. I'm excited too. Bread, biryani, chicken, what else? What's your favorite dish? What's my favorite dish? Just overall. Paneer makmi. Paneer makmi? Yeah, okay. paneer makmi. So for me it's chili paneer is like my favorite veg dish. I don't think I've had that one. Yeah, it's like a spicy Indo-Chinese okay. dish. But uh, here they have an amazing selection of you know tikka, so we have tandoor, duat, you have entrees, you have appetizers. I mean, so many different things. I want something spicy. I know you told me you're not into the spice, but we can try I can do something. Medium level. Medium level. Yeah, medium yeah, level. I can okay. Do medium level. And you've been to India. I've been to India. I went 2019, end of August, beginning of September. Oh wow. We hit five cities in, I think it was like seven, eight days. Seven, eight days. So yes. what'd you do? Mumbai, Delhi. No. No. Okay. Okay. We what'd you do? We went to Delhi. Then we went to Amritsar. Then okay. Varanasi, eh, Agra, and Jaipur. Okay. So UT. Uh, uh, Uttar yeah, Pradesh. Yes. UP, 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 not UT. <laughs> not UT. So she did basically north, right? Yes. So today we'll get some south stuff too, okay. hopefully. Um, I, everything looks amazing. I'm just literally waiting for the owner to come in the door and show us what he wants us to try today. And this is Namaste Miami, one of my favorite restaurants in the area. So there's Coral Gables. You know, there's only a few Indian restaurants in Miami. Really hard to come by now. Yes. Crazy, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and you've been here before. I've been here before. I came when they first opened and then I've been coming like more often. Okay, so I've come once when I did eating Indian food for 24 hours, like my third round in Miami. I was actually popping by the time I got here, so I didn't get to enjoy it correctly, but today I can't wait. We're gonna use our hands, yes. we're gonna eat well. Yes. I'm excited, <laughs> it's 12.30 and there's no one here on a really, really wet day. Yes. <laughs> no, it's literally, it's raining outside and it's freezing in here. <laughs> bueno, my friend, let's, let's do a beer, let's do a beer. Okay, which one? Uh, I don't know, what do you have? I have Taj, Kingfisher, and Hunter. Okay, Olga, we were surprised with a few different dishes that I love. The paneer chili. You haven't tried I it. I have not tried it. I've had Indo Chinese, but not paneer chili. Not this. This, like, we should just have a bite because it is too good. Paneer, you know, mm -hmm. cottage cheese. You have this, like, red, I don't know exactly what sauce it is, mm -hmm. but it's more of a Chinese yeah, the Indo sauce. Chinese Indo Chinese. So I think we should just jump on it, right? And there's some bell peppers there, right? Green and red, some onions. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's very good. Mmm. Nice sesame seeds. And this is this is not too spicy. So paneer chili usually should this be. It's perfect. It has like a smoky flavor. Mm-hmm. Different from like chicken manchurian or gobi manchurian. Sauce maybe similar though. No. I find it more smoky. Smoky. Because like uh, uh, gobi manchur, I find it more like acidic. Okay. Wow, she knows her stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta say, these people are, are way too kind. They were like Taj and Kingfisher, always. <laughs> You're Kingfisher, yes, I'm Taj. <laughs> mm. Nice. Today's like not the day for it. Not too hot <laughs> outside, but I'm gonna have a little more. Sorry, this is... Oh, mm. it's really good. Mm. This? blew me away when I had it in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. Because you know, when you think about veg dishes, sometimes you don't think about this one specifically. You think about some other creamy ones, but my man here, hey. Hey, David, how are you? How, how are you? you? How are you? How are you? Oh, 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 nice to see you again, man. Yeah. So nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy, please enjoy. You have some more vegetarian dishes coming for you. And you're looking good. I love your dress. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I bought it in the airport in Varanasi. <laughs> Oh Did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this was actually my Taj Mahal outfit. No way. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is the sampler platter, right? The yes. veg platter. Chop platter. Do we try this one? Yeah. So how do we grab it? I see. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we just go in, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I like it because it has tamarind on top. Yeah, that one's yes. pretty empty. Mira, here, get, get, <laughs> fill it up with something here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. Sweet, crunchy, refreshing. Oh wow. It's not overly sweet, it's like perfect. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. And then you have the bottom, it's like a nice little crispy wafer in a way. Like a cracker? Like a cracker, cracker. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. So good. Mm hmm. Mm. I have to leave that. It's too good. Mm hmm. So, what is chana masala? Basically, chickpeas. Chickpeas. And masala. And I think I think on top they put what coriander. I think so. Ooh, still hot. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm. It's like, it's like cinnamon here or something, right? Yeah, it tastes a little like dalcini. Mm hmm. Mmm. Super tasty this China masala. Thank you. It's amazing. Wow, if I didn't have like another three dishes, I would eat this whole thing. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. I love doing this. Getting together with fans. Thank you so much. No, thank you for inviting me. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> so, how long have you been in Miami? I was born here. Born and raised in Miami. So, forget very, Colombian, very, Miamian. Very few of us. <laughs> I know. That's like me, too. Most people are not born in Miami. No. You know, if you grew up you know, like when we did in the 80s, mm -hmm. most of our families come from somewhere else. Yes. Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina, Nicaragua, Honduras. I mean, you name every single country in Latin America, South America, the Caribbean, even Eastern Europe. A lot of Eastern Europeans now. Mm -hmm. You know, but so, so that's sort of what this is. Obviously, now it's not like that. Now everybody's from somewhere else. Anybody yes. I meet our age, you know, in their 30s, from somewhere else. That's why I said very few of us actually born and raised in born Miami. Raised. So which hospital? Mount Sinai. Okay, I'm from <laughs> South Miami. Ain't no secret, homie. <laughs> so, by the way, I'm repping Colombia here. Yes, Parcerito. Unfortunately, lost. <laughs> I know. I know. So which one you would you like? Which one do you want? Yeah, I'll grab this one. Okay. Okay. So this is alu tiki, and this is just potato samosa, right? Yeah. So veg samosa, everything's veg. We're going all veg, because yeah. I don't know, somebody, somebody corrected me in my last video, they said like 50% of Hindis are strictly veg. Mm -hmm. I think it's more I think it's than what more. I saw, but hey, yeah. cheers. But it also depends what area you go into. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm, mm. Nice crispy, mm -hmm. nice and mushy. Mm. You have like some masala in here as well. I don't know what else is in there. Good? This is a staple. This Samosa is always the best. You eat this everywhere. I can have two or three a day. Fasi. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so good. They're very good. They're very good. And you mix it with some like some of that sauce or something. I'm I'm <laughs> wild. I like I'll mix everything here. Mm-hmm. Samosas so are comfort food. Mm hmm This is straight comfort food. Mm -hmm. Indian comfort food. Whoa. Maybe I should leave it. Maybe I shouldn't. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how when you taste this, you taste India. Close your eyes. Yes. Backwards. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I miss the food in India. Oh man, me too. Me too. I feel like in my other life, I was an Indian. Straight up. That's exactly how I feel. And right now we have another one of my favorites, Bel Puri. Look at this, beautiful. Yeah. It's super refreshing, very crunchy. You have tomatoes, you have sev. I mean, lots of little little rice, you know, uh, puff, rice. puff rices, but like very different mixture, right? Are you ready? Yes. Bell Puri in Miami. <laughs> I'm getting huge bites here. Mm. Very light, airy. Airy, crunchy. You got tomato in there, so you have a nice little burst, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's nice. Mm hmm. This with this on the street. Yeah? I don't know, I'm making it up right now. <laughs> By the way, we've never met each other until right now. We talked a few times. Yes. But that's it. Crazy. First time. <laughs> first time. First time. I'm loving how you eat Indian food. I'm like impressed. I, I, I haven't met that many women outside of. Uh, I've actually you know, introduced all my coworkers and other friends who've never been exposed to Indian culture to Indian food through me. I'm the one who's always ordering at work. Let's order Indian food for lunch. I'm the same. I'm the one that's like introducing it. We have mushroom naan, garlic naan, yes. white rice, tamarind chutney, mint chutney. Over here. Malai kofta. Malai kofta. Paneer makhani. Okay. Karai paneer. A karai paneer, yeah. Mushroom, tandoori mushroom, I think he said. Is it tandoori mushroom? Looks delicious and creamy. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> wow. I've never tried this plate. I don't think I've tried this plate. Obviously, that one, the I best. Haven't. I've only tried that one. I've tried kadai paneer. Kadai. That one you said is kadai. He said kadai. He said so. it's basically the same word in, in Pakistan. Okay. Everything's kadai. Kadai chicken, kadai okay, yes, uh, yes, goose, I mean. whatever. Uh -huh. I mean, basically, they put it on a big pan uh -huh. and they cook it. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Kadai. So, how do we start? What do you think? Mushroom? Yes. Other thing. You just want two pieces like that? 
Fasi? Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I think the best is like we get a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Malai kofta. This is I've the best. Had. No way. I always order the same thing and I'm always like, I'm gonna order something oh, else. Oh, you have to always order different. That's so I always stick to butter chicken or chicken tikka masala, paneer makhni always, and then lately dal taka. Dal taka? Okay. Yes, that's good. It. And then paratha. But this, you're gonna see. Okay. The sauce, the creamy sauce. Okay. So this is the karai paneer. Okay. Wow, that looks good. Yes, it does. Still like yeah, the flamey. Yeah, the kadai paneer that I had was different. It was, I had it at Ayeshi actually in Midtown. Okay. It looks more like a scramble. Okay. Yeah, th this one is more just paneer with yeah. uh, tomatoes, there's peppers and in there, peppers. a creamy sauce, and then here we have another paneer. So I'll move this one a little bit over. This is your favorite? Oh, I love paneer magni. Paneer magni. I mean, paneer magni is basically the same thing as yeah. butter chicken, but with paneer, yeah. right? Same incredible sauce. Mm -hmm. So, question, because people are like saying to me, like, David, it's not just tomato. What else is in it? What else is in the sauce? I have no idea. I, <laughs> I feel like it's the one you should try first. So we're going in with hands, eh? I don't mind eating with my hands. Eating with our hands, right? I do not mind. Mushroom. I've never had a mushroom not. First time. Me neither. So which one do you want to start with? Your favorite, right? Yes. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> and the paneer feels like a pillow. Mm -hmm. I was going to say exactly that. Like it's so soft. It's mm -hmm. like, it's fluffy. Yeah. Whoa. Next, I'm gonna try the mushroom. I see. That's oh, a nice, like, nice gravy, right? And yeah. they also put like some chutney on the side, so I guess we need some of that. Yeah, I'll, I'll dab it on you. So, this is tandoori mushroom? I think so. Okay, I've never okay. had this. Let's do it. Mm hmm. Smoky. Cilantro. Mm hmm. Extremely soft. Mm. Yeah, the mushroom very chutney. Mm -hmm. This is cilantro chutney, right? So, yeah. I love mushroom. First time trying it. I'm a huge fan. Have you had mushroom makhni? If you want to do the like the butter chicken style veg veg version, it's either paneer or paneer. mushroom, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm. Mm. And that alone. Yeah. Mm. So flavorful. Yes, it is. Wow. So, what do you want to jump on next? We can do... Malai kofta. Yeah. Let's do it. Look at this huge. But I can't put this huge thing in my mouth. I know, look, it's, and it has cashews inside. So it's like a, it's like a vegetable ball. dumpling. That's what they okay. explained it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. I feel a nutty flavor. Mm-hmm. Tons of cashews in there. Mm-hmm. It's a nice, like, compressed <laughs> dumpling. Right? It's like a veggie meatball. Mm -hmm. Veggie meatball. Exactly. But the sauce is what makes it. I personally yeah. love the sauce. I'm like, the it sauce. is too much. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you some more. Ay. Delicioso, no? Yes. It's incredible how this That's is. It's really good. This is vegetarian. All this. So now you guys know Indian food, veg style. It's not boring. It's not boring at all. It's exciting. <laughs> you don't miss meat when you have this. No, you don't. And it's so filling too, right? Yes. So because Olga said it out loud that her favorite <laughs> bread is barata, we got some baratas, right? Yeah. And so what's the difference? I mean, automatically it's, it's thicker, right? It's crispier. I think it's thinner. It's, you think it's thinner? I think what? Because I feel like the inside of the naan is more... Rich? Like Yeah, more heavier. Okay. You know, like Cuban bread? Mm -hmm. And right. I feel like this is more thin, like the tortilla. Okay, it definitely is. And it's more... I don't want to use the word gooey, but... It is gooey though. It is. You feel it yeah. right away. <laughs> so what do you do with this? The same way like Same thing, right? Yeah. Same thing. It's pretty hot. <laughs> so first time I had barata, uh -huh. I was in Delhi. I okay. went to like a, uh, like a barata street. Oh my Incredible. god. Incredible. You have no idea. Cheers. Cheers. Look at the bite she's having <laughs> compared to me. Mmm. Mmm. So good. With the malai kofta sauce, that gravy, crazy. So we just looked it up to see exactly what's in the sauce. It says tomato-based curry. 
okay. but but I think there's cashews in it. There's a nutty flavor there. There is so a nutty rare. flavor. Mm. For, for me, I mean, traveling usually by ground. Mm -hmm. I try to get in the car every time. The best thing I ever did was take taxis between cities, like by hour drives, taxis. Okay. So affordable, like 50 bucks. And then they go back, crazy. We took the train from Delhi to Amritsar. Mm -hmm. So you see when you're entering Punjab, all the format. Change it completely. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. And I wish I would have seen more of that metro because I really, really, I really liked it a lot. Well, you did the Golden Temple, right? Yeah, so crazy thing, we did the Golden Temple at 3.30 in the morning. We didn't have a driver or a tour guide. We were on our own, the three of us. Well, next time somebody got you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, let's do 3.30. Wild. We went, we were next to the mall where Mitz are, so we had dinner there. We stayed con la misma ropa. Yeah. We slept Palante. until like 3 in the morning, went downstairs, Ooh. took a shuttle bus, and went to the temple. That was the most amazing experience ever. Like, I'm sure. No, that temple is. That place. Nothing like gave it. Gave me goosebumps. Like, I love that place. Mm -hmm. For me, my experience there, obviously a little different, but at the same time, very magical. You know, mm -hmm. just going there. Seeing everybody, eating with everybody. I'm done. But Anasi was interesting. It is, it is. Malai kofta? No, sorry, Malai. Ras Malai, Ras Malai, that's what you want? Yeah. <laughs> and here we have our favorite Indian dessert, right? Yes, Ras Malai. Ras Malai, so what is it? <laughs> it's curd, it's cheese curd with cardamom, I believe pistachios. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the rest. And milk, right? <laughs> yeah, milk. milk. Yeah. And so how do you do it? Just dive in. I just take a piece. Okay, so we both get one. And have some of the milk with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a super nice, refreshing, you know, dessert to have at the end of a spicy meal, especially, yes. right? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. Yes. So it's it's dense, but not like crazy dense. Just you no. feel the layers, right? Mm -hmm. I like to say it's a fluffy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, what sure. I think of it when I have it. And is there pistachios in it? Yeah, there's pistachios. Oh, pistachios, okay. And cardamom, I believe. And cardamom. I mean, I feel like cardamom is almost in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit. I guess we're finishing it. You can never let this go to waste. Never. You don't need anything. <laughs> Cheers. I had mine too fast. <laughs> so for me, my like kofta is my favorite dish. You? When you're makni? When you're makni. Okay. And the parata? The parata, yes. Okay. So if you guys don't know about Namaste Miami, it's a cozy Indian restaurant here in the heart of Coral Gables on a side street. I mean, really, really beautiful spot. Incredible food. They have beer. They have wine. Amazing spot. And you've been multiple times, right? Yes, I've been multiple times since they opened. Awesome. Very cozy. The staff is friendly. The food is delicious. Today, we're going to be eating Indian food. Chilling, relaxing, having some wine, and I'm very excited because it's been a while, Dad. I know you've been traveling all over the place. You, oh, are, you are the Indian food guru now. Uh, now now I are, think I am. You are, you are. <laughs> namaskar, namaste. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I've been traveling around the United States for the past few months, you know, basically figuring out where all the curry spots are, all the Indian cuisine, right? So I've been doing like eating Indian food for 24 hours. I've also been collaborating with different people, eating Indian food. I just got back, literally, I landed this morning from San Francisco. I was just on an eight day trip, just eating nine non-stop curries but you know what this is the holidays so today we are gonna drink some wine so we're gonna celebrate with Indian food exactly we're gonna celebrate with Indian food um, basically you know at my home we always get the gift of wine for my father that is what I always gift him and today we partnered with Bright Cellars that bring it over dun, da, 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 da. so this is Bright Cellars this is the box so this company basically what they do is they have a quiz on their website you go through the quiz and it matches like what your flavor tastes are to different wines from around the world. So Bright Cellars focuses on finding unique hidden gems from small vineyards from all over the world. All you have to do is take their quick and simple seven question quiz so they can gather your taste preferences and deliver wines you're guaranteed to love. It's super convenient, they deliver it to your home. It's a little different because most people what they do is they match the wine to the food and here, David, what they do is they find out your taste okay. and then they deliver the wines to you that they believe are correct for your taste and your palate. So the discovery, it's really geared to your taste. Yeah, and it's directly to your door. So let's open this up. So we have six bottles here. Oh, and they're also very educational, right? So 
right when you open it, right here. Yeah, so they basically educate you. So each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outline the tasting notes, suggesting pairings, best serving temperature, and the origin. So basically impress your friends and family with some wine knowledge. Correct. So let's open this up. So what do we have here? They even teach you how to uncork the wine yeah. in the right temperature, which is good. You know, a lot of people drink like hot wine mm -hmm. and it's really bad. I mean, I, I know, don't know I why. Know. You have to cool, chill the wine always, always. I think we have to bring this down. So let's pull some out. One, two, three. Oops. <laughs> okay, so here we have three different wines. Dancing Juice, so that's from California, I guess, right? Valle Central. Okay, this is Cripisis, right? And then over here, we have Cactus Park. So each one of these has a card, right? So this is Cactus Park, right. Dancing, Dancing Juice, Juice and Cripsis. And Cripsis. So Cripsis is a Petit Shiraz, Caramener, that's a, so that's a different grape that is Correct. in, uh, where is it, in Chile? Okay, it's so it's Chile. Chile. And then this one is from California, and this is also from California, Cactus Park, it's a red blend. So basically, they educate you, right? So this one has plum, black cherry, amazing. So I mean, just, you know, different wines for your palate, because you went through the quiz, you made it happen, right? You see, and it tell you about the temperature. Very important. Mm -hmm. People don't chill their wines. Exactly. You know, it's like a hot soup. You don't want to drink a wine that's hot. So we chose our wine already. We already put it into the cooler, and that's the Mojave Rain, right? So it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's full body. Full body, new vintage from California. Blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, red currant, and vanilla. 15%. Those are the flavor notes. Exactly. The flavor notes. So let's bring the wine out. Let's open it. Let's go get the wine. You excited? Very excited. I'm always up for wine. Wine is the happiness. There. Stubborn. Okay, there you go. So, Dad, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so what do we have here? Do you know? Come on, this, this is point. butter chicken? No, chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala, okay. This is the chickpeas, of course. Chana masala. Chana masala. Alugobi. Alugobi, and this is the... Pani Sag paneer? Sag paneer, not pani puri. <laughs> pani puri is a round little oh thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting I, I educated. I got the basics so he can enjoy yeah, it. He listen. loves the basics. I thought he remembered them. And then here we have papara. Amazing, price it's, sellers. It's gonna be Thanksgiving, so we yeah. should give thanks. Thanks for everything. Cheers, thanks for everything. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mojave rain. Nice and chilled. Have to be always there in like 70. Full body, full body Cabernet. And it has to be at what? Like, um, I think 65 if I recall correctly. 65? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's okay, see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. The chana masala. Chana masala. Here. It's I'll so help. good. I'll make it easy for you. And this is all from my friends at Bombay Dabar. I was just there in the kitchen, one of my favorite places to be. I think uh, Indian food is in your DNA, David. No. Yeah, right? It's ingrained. It's ingrained. You love it so much, and I can see why. I mean, I love it too. There's nothing better, Doug. Indian food is so um, so full of flavor and so complex, you know? Mm -hmm. You like the aloo gobi, right? I love it. Yeah, this is like a dry masala, right? So it's just like potatoes and cauliflower. It's amazing. It's very easy, mm -hmm. right? I, I'm a big fan of the veg in India. Nothing like it. And know. a lot of people think that being, you know, eating veg is, is, is like boring. And uh, if you taste Indian food, it's nowhere near boring. I mean, this is complex, full of flavors, mm -hmm. really tasty. I mean, and look at this. you can't have enough of it. I can never have enough of Indian food. Cheers again, Dad. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Full body Cabernet. Full body. And what do we have here? So this is, I think we have garlic naan and we have paneer naan. Paneer naan. I never tasted paneer naan. Give me one. One for you. One for me, one for you. You ready? If you give me one, I'll give you one. Let's break this fast. Chicken tikka masala. Let's do it. This is the national dish of Great Britain, and I can't wait to go to Great Britain and eat there. Mm. Mm. Why so good? Why? This is the most popular dish always. I mean, Great Britain, Dad, is everywhere. It is. I'm going for the sag now. And by the way, sag is different from palak. Palaga spinach, sag is like uh, mustard leaves. Okay. So it's, it's mixed greens basically, mustard leaves and mixed greens. What are, you, what are your plans for uh, for Indian food next year? I mean, we're fast approaching Christmas, gonna be New Year's, some travels, what do you have in mind? Mm hmm So, I'm thinking, going to Dubai, doing st some stuff there. I had plans for Saudi Arabia, I don't know if I do it or not, but there's a huge Indian population there as well. 
my real big trip would be going to Great Britain and going from like London all the way up to Manchester. I know Leeds, a few towns in there, uh, I don't know, Leicester, Leicester? Mm -hmm. I don't know, there's a lot of places there that are literally curry heavens, like it's all curry. Because so a lot of Indian population in the in Great Britain, right? Oh, that I mean, it's huge because remember British Raj, you know, the English were the Britishers. Mm -hmm. The Britishers were in India for hundred and something years. 1947, they left, and that's it. But they they obviously mm -hmm. brought over. And from my understanding, a lot of the British that were born in India, mm -hmm. they're the ones that came back. Mm -hmm. Like they're like white guys that come back born India India so they have this this like they already learned how to cook <laughs> oh, I got some curry <laughs> yeah are you allowed to lick your fingers on camera not really mm -hmm. no not a good idea mm -hmm. you are okay done everything is allowed with Indian food right mm -hmm. is there a reason for eating with your hands is there a particular reason there's a lot of reasons that I mean I think number one is that you're not getting that metallic flavor when you put the so it's the metal. mix of flavors, okay? Yeah, because this this way you're getting the true essence of the cuisine without mixing it. Got it. With plastic or metal or metal. Mmm. It's amazing. These people at Bombay Darbar are fantastic. Oh, the best. I mean, I really want to have like some Malabar cuisine. I want to have different biryanis. I want to have different nuns. I want to have like a, maybe a big tally. Maybe. Have like the biggest naan in America. I'm thinking of all these different ideas and making a list of all my favorite dishes, and especially now that I just went on this trip. I mean, how would I do? So I've been to New England, Boston, Manchester, also to Phoenix, New York multiple times. You've been Cali. all over the place. I mean, California. I just did a bunch of different places where I'm literally just eating Indian food with different people, and I'm learning all these different dishes. And there's so many franchises now, which is crazy. Like curry up now, Ulava Churu, Madras Dosa Company, Butter Chicken Company. I mean. You have so many that are just popping up, but you have to open them in destinations where there's a lot of Indian population. Here in Miami, Correct. not that much, but because of me, I think it'll work. But you know you know what I'm, I'm seeing? I'm, I'm seeing this trend like a few years ago. People who didn't really know about Indian food. They didn't. And they knew about pizza, and they knew about sushi, and you know, pizza and sushi are the exports, culturally exports, of mm -hmm. Italy and Japan, right? And everybody loves them. And years ago, people would say, no, I'm not gonna eat that, I'm not gonna eat this. You know what? Everybody's eating sushi and pizza and pasta these days. Oh yeah, it's become the norm. Now, norm. now it's become the norm, and I can see Indian food becoming the norm. People mm -hmm. are getting exposed to Indian food, and everybody that I know, I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like Indian food. I don't know how you could. I, I mean, it's so rich. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the flavors, the complexity, is just fantastic. Yeah, and obviously today we're doing the standard stuff, you know, chicken tikka masala, which you know what they call it in uh, Great Britain? No, CTM. CTM. You don't call it chicken tikka masala. CTM for short. CTM. CTM. Can I have a CTM? CTM. And right. then obviously, can I have some naan? David, do you think you'll ever learn how to cook some of these dishes? I mean, with your level of experience and knowledge, I can see you actually developing, you know, a little bit of a, mm? a uh, an idea of where, you know, cooking Indian food with yeah. XYZ person or I mean, XYZ. Um, that you know my time is super limited right now, right? So, I know. My, I have like almost no time at all between my kids and my business. It's like crazy. But what I think I'm gonna do is once I have the kitchen, once I have the restaurant, and I can literally ask the chef like, hey, today, just make a video. Teach me how to make this dish. How to make CTM. Mm -hmm. How to make, you know, starts with the basics. Understand a lot of a lot of these dishes have a high level of complexity as far as the uh, condiments, you know, mm -hmm. the, all the uh, the uh, spices. It's what they call it, it right? That, that's the, the key. spice is the key. Spices. And it's the like masalas, every every masalas. dish every dish has a complexity of of masalas that you need to know how to put together mm -hmm. to achieve a certain flavor and a certain result. I think it's like everything in life, probably. You learn how to do it. You know, the more you do it, right? The more you do but it. But you need training. You need people to basically. I mean, teach the you. main thing is to go into a kitchen dive with a chef. And every day learn one new dish. But actually learn and do it and try it, you know? Well, you have to have a passion for it and you do. Mm -hmm. No question about it. And we're definitely gonna have some Indian beer, some Indian rum. They other have, they other have, Indian things. Other they, Indian. Have, they have a lot of Indian stuff. Well, I think Indian culture in general is being just expanded mm -hmm. now worldwide and people are finding out more and more, you know, the, the whole- Well, it's uh, the globalization, I think. Too, it's the know? globalization, it's social media, it's YouTube. It just exposes the culture at a higher mm -hmm. uh, complexity and level. I mean, everybody knows about these things now. Everybody. Should we try something else? 
like what yeah, are you try, are you I, eating I everything? Tried everything. I tried yeah, everything. You're terrible. You went ahead of me and tried everything. Sage paneer. Mmm. I could eat this all day long, dude. This is food is addictive. It is. Mmm. Can't stop, won't stop. Although Indians don't drink, right, David? Pretty taboo. To be honest, this is the first time in a long time that I just have four dishes to eat, and that's it. <laughs> Tell me something, David. How do you do not gain weight? You're so you're so skinny, you're, and you eat you eat like ten thousand calories a day, maybe more, when you're filming. How do you, I, how do you handle that? I mean, that is the fasting. I told you, I intermittent fast. To everybody out there, please understand that that I intermittent fast. That means. I finish my meal, last meal of the day at 7 p.m. I have zero snacks at night, zero, I mean zero. No and alcohol? I, I limit the alcohol, but to be honest, the big thing I limit the most is bad food, fast food, um, too much sugar, I almost have no sugar now. I am like anti-sugar now, basically. And um, yeah, that, that's basically how I do it. And then so I, I finish at 7 p.m. and then I bring my fast at noon. And today, what is, we broke our fast at one. No. Well, I got off the plane, so I, I've been. This? It's actually the wrong time for me. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm mixing with the rice. Okay. I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm not gonna use my hands. Well, you know what? Maybe I should use my hands. Yeah, use your hands. So we finished all the naan. So I just mixed in some of the rice. I don't have biryani today, so I'm just mixing in basmati rice, bringing up that CTM. Mm -hmm. CTM. CTM. I right know the code now. CTM. Ready? CTM. Ready. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh man. Nothing like that cream. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm. So who do you think I should collaborate with? Who should I eat with? Once I have a restaurant, I'm collaborating with everybody. And to be honest, Sky for me is is really high. I mean I'm I'm I wanna like do David Beckham. How about Robert Downing Jr.? Somebody LeBron like James, that. Tom Holland, Robert Downing mm -hmm. Jr. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll eat with you, I eat with you. I eat with them. Doesn't really matter. The main thing is to show people how good delicious, how good and delicious <laughs> Indian, Indian food is. Food is. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 It's crazy, right? How much I need to put a meeting. <laughs> Somebody wrote me a DM. They're like, "You're gonna get sick, man." I'm like, "Nah, I don't think so." No, nobody gets sick of Indian food. Mm. You can actually get sick of other foods, but not Indian food. No, you don't get sick of it. You can get sick off it. That. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm hmm. This was great. You done? No. I want to have some rice. Mm hmm. So I guess the question everybody wants to know is when you going to India? Might surprise you soon. Might surprise me. Let's see, let's see. I might be going back, but this time I feel like I want to do a few different collabs in, in uh, Mumbai and then maybe go to the city of Surat for some eggs, street food, and then go to the city of Indore. Indore. Indore where is that? In that's, in, uh, that's in like, it's like north, but central. Uh, it's like north of Maharashtra, but more central. Yeah, it's, it's one of the major cities in there. There's too many states, Dad. With 20, 28, 29 states. It's interesting because the culture in India is so wide, you know, that people even say Namaskar and they say Namaste, and it means that's the same the, thing. Well, right? that's that's Mahara, that's that's very interesting. That's Maha, Mahara. Eh. How do you say the language of Maharashtra? Maharashtra. Maharashtra. No. Incorrect. No. Mm. You know, I never pair wine with Indian food, but today it was good, especially with the heat outside. Mm -hmm. Right? Thanksgiving this week. We're starting celebrations early. It's Monday. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm eating Indian food all day tomorrow from Pompano down to Miami. Really? Yeah, crazy. Another one of those days? Another one of those days. I don't think it's too crazy though. Like, it's actually really enjoyable. Well, if it was the kind of food that you don't enjoy, but you enjoy it. Look, you can't stop. I know. Did we leave anything from right here? Guys, no. people, look at this. He keeps eating. Mm -hmm. Never gets tired of it. So. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't get tired of it. Oh, we don't have any desserts, I don't either. Huh? I don't either. <laughs> we don't have dessert. I guess pour me a little bit more wine. So the one thing I love that I'm doing at the end, which I should do in the beginning, is salmon chutney with papadam. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm. Salmon chutney is the best. Which one is this one? 
Tamar. But I actually tried some mm. ginger chutneys um, the other day. We live at Charu Tiffins. This is a place. Just went to Santa Clara, California, and New York for Indian food. Next is London. It's a large, large uh, Indian community, no? Mm hmm. I really want to see Dubai's. Anybody from Dubai knows Indian food? Let me know. Mm. There's got to be a ton of Indian food in Dubai. Oh, crazy. There's so many Indians living there. But there's like 50 restaurants, though. Easy. It's like New York. New York, I think, is like just in the islands, 100. Well, I'm telling you, it's becoming more and more mainstream. It's ever so more popular, you know? And people who haven't tried it, if you haven't tried Indian food, you gotta go try it. Yeah, right now. Start with the basics, right? What would you recommend are the basics? Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, side paneer. These are the basics. China mas everything right here is the basics. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go too crazy for my dad. Just a you know simple lunch, me and him. But I can tell you that I love the pani puris. I know exactly what they are. <laughs> now you do, right? I do. Mm. I want to have guys, pani puri. I had no idea what Indian food was all about until David got me into it. I know. Now it's like, look, I can't stop. I gotta keep going. Get a little bit from here. The chana masala is the best. Here. Oh, it's good, it's good. I'm it's good. I'm poor. My friends, thank you to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Thank you to all of you for watching. We really appreciate it. There's a lot of sun coming in right now. But dad, thank you, I love you. Love you too. Another Indian food day. Cheers. Oh man, I am exhausted. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami, most likely. Woo! So do you think Tom Holland and um, and David Beckham like chicken tikka masala? I they must, right? You. I can bet you. They must. You know what I think? All my British fam there, like Rita Ora, uh, Dua Lipa, all these people, they must love Is Dua Lipa your fan? What? Is Dua Lipa your fan? No, I'm her fan, Dad. <laughs> I'm her fan. I'm everybody's fan. Everybody who works hard in life, I'm their fan. Mmm. Mm. This wine's amazing. Very good. Mojave. Steve Yalo. Hey. It's funny, I've actually never met him in person, but we've been in contact for about four years through my boy Tall and my boy Jimmy. Yeah. Amazing, dude. We have a lot of mutual friends. It's the first time we just met like three minutes ago. So I'm excited. What are we doing? Well, today we're here at the number one Indian veg restaurant chain in the world, Sarvana Bhavan. They have like a hundred locations around the world, lots in India, they got like three here in New York City, they have in New Jersey, I mean all around the world, and they do South Indian breakfast. So what is South Indian breakfast? Well, dude, it's dosa with Indian crepes made out of lentil batter. You got idli, which is rice, uh, steamed rice cakes. You have vada, which are like savory donuts, and you have Coconut chutney. Dude, I am so excited. I, I love South Indian food. South Indian food for me is like, it's the ultimate. I mean, you got the pancake, not really pancake. They, have, they also have a pancake which is called Udabam. So lots of different things on the menu. Huge menu. Are you ready? Dude, I am excited. You excited? I'm hungry too. I'm starving. We're also getting filtered coffee. So follow us inside. Let's go. My man. Yo. What up, bro? <laughs> you ready? I'm ready, bro. I mean, like, you know, hanging out with you, I think I'm gonna gain like 100 pounds by the end of the week, but I'm good. Let's go. So you've never had South Indian breakfast, right? Ever. 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 So we're here on Curry Hill, so that's Murray Hill area, so Lexington and 27th, and the restaurant's right here. World's number one Indian vegetarian restaurant chain. And right here on the wall, you can see all the locations they got. Look at that, man. So Australia, New Zealand, USA, UK, Canada, Johannesburg. Sweden. Johannesburg. Johannesburg, Qatar, I mean, Hong Kong. That's awesome. Everywhere. Dude, everywhere, everywhere. Even in Paris, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right there in Paris. It's impressive. What, what's the Greek one, bro? Ah, uh, I know. You gotta start that one. <laughs> I got a pitch. <laughs> Me too. I got to bring this to Miami, dude. Yeah. I didn't bring this one to Miami. Yeah, it's sure. not Miami yet. There's a little space down here for Miami. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Let's eat. Let's go. My man. Good morning. We ready? Yes. Sir. Filtered coffee, dosas. Dude, I, I want some spicy dosa. You got spicy right. chutney? We have coconut chutney. We have like two, three chutneys. So okay. it's up to you to you know, decide. Awesome, and we're starting off right here with some filtered coffee. So this is from Karnataka, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So this is the filtered coffee. So how does it work? Well, right now, ooh, it's still really hot. You do this, right? Mm. And you just keep doing that. And the longer you do this, the colder it gets. Okay. Right? So it's still like piping hot. Yeah, ooh. ooh, it's too hot. Look at that, a little high pour. Yeah, this is hot. 
in India they serve you everything scorching. Like you can't get chai on the street without it being like this. Like you burn your gums every time. Gotta keep going, right? It's how you literally cool it down. The reason it cool down is obviously this one's not hot at all, right? This one's already absorbed the heat. Yeah. It's, it's even hard to grab. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. In New York City, having South Indian breakfast. All right, let's try this. Do you even have one here? I don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, have that. Okay. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Nice, right? Mm. It's almost like cafe con leche. Yeah. It feels like, you know, a little bit of milk. There's milk in here, right? Mm, nice and fluffy. And everything Indian, there's always milk and sugar. So you feel that, right? It's sweet. It's good. But it wakes you up. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you this massive menu. Yeah. So the breakfast starts at 9 in the morning to 11.30. So this is like one of the only places open for South Indian breakfast. Most Indian restaurants don't even open to 11.30. We've got appetizers. We have the dosa corner, which we have like, I think it's like two dozen dosas. I haven't seen that big a menu before for dosas. You have rava dosa over here, special dosa, utapam. This is the real pancake, Indian pancake at the tallies. So that is a big platter. House specialties, we got rice, you have more side orders, lots of stuff, but you know what? Let's go to the kitchen. Ram, <laughs> my man, how you doing? Yeah, hey, I'm doing great, how about you? Awesome, very good. So what do we have here? This sambal goes with uh, the different items like idli, dosa. Next, we follow with the dessert. That's called rava kesari, which is made of uh, suji. And then comes bisibalabad, which is a mixture of all the vegetables, dal, lentils, and uh, rice. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from Chennai. From Chennai? Tamal, Tamal Nadu. I've been, man, I've been. It's amazing. Over there in Tamal, that's where the real dosas are. Exactly. You know, you go to yeah. uh, you know, Kerala and they have a tata dosa, small dosa. Small dosa. It's almost like utapam. This yeah. is like the real thing, yeah. the nice, crispy. Yeah. Oh, so good. And over here we have some of the chutneys, right? This is called a kara colombo. In South Indian, we call it as kara colombo. We have varieties of kara colombo, which is made up of uh, uh, tamarind sauce. This is called rasam. Every day we have flavors of rasam. One day we have pineapple, one day we have tomato, one day we have jeera, uh, one day we have ginger, and then garlic. And now we're gonna see how he makes the paper dosa. Huge, like two foot dosa, maybe three feet. Look at that. Huge frying pan. He's gonna use this whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Oh. Okay, so the difference between a regular pancake here in America and what they're doing here is that the batter is made from rice and lentils. Okay, that's the biggest difference. We just did the paper dosa, which is like two foot huge dosa, super crispy. The next one is the maestro masala dosa, right? So what they did is they made the dosa, took off some of the batter, and then he added this beautiful spicy chutney, right? Maestro chutney. Maestro chutney? Yeah. All right, so next up, he's making the vada, so a savory donut made from lentil batter. This is onion rava dosa. And what is it made with? Uh, rice, rice flour, and uh, suji. So it's going to be very similar to the paper dosa, right? In thinness oh, and crispiness. Uh, the paper dosa is a bigger one. This is a smaller one, but it's crispy. Babu Kanabara. 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 I'm from Chennai. Chennai. So everybody here is Tamil. <laughs> Tamilese. Tamil. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We are Tamil. Okay, so next up we're making a batura, which is basically a huge puri. It like explodes. It's basically like a pillow when you get it and you pop it, right? And you said it's a difference between chole batura and chana batura? This one is chana batura, bigger one. Uh, chole comes with small one. Uh, so serves with, uh, you know, garbanzo. Mm -hmm. Comes with garbanzo, side dish. Garbanzo, chickpeas. Chickpeas. <laughs> Good, yeah, dude. Every language here, dude. <laughs> it's like a pillow. Hold on, let me pop it. No, I'm joking. At the table, at the table. No, and this one you have to eat fast. You have to get to the table and eat right away. Thank you, thank you. Shukriya, shukriya. Now let's go eat. Enjoy your food. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Food's ready, David. We gotta go eat. Amazing, amazing. Let's go, let's go. Oh, look at this. Steve, so you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, I'm so ready. I wish you could smell this because it's amazing. Wow. Everything looks so fascinating, too. Look how big these things are. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we have a huge feast. We have one, two, three different dosas. We have bada, we have idli, and we have chana bature. And you have this huge puri, right? So it's bature, it's not a puri, it's massive. So how do you eat this? How do well, you start? Pop it first, like, okay. you know, break it up. And you use one hand, usually you use one hand to do this, just like that. Just get a bunch, you know, not too big. This is usually what they'll grab in India. They don't get, like, too huge. Okay. And then you go and you grab this. So you go in and, you know, chana or chole, that's chickpeas, right? So you just grab this, so it has a nice gravy. Are these the same? Same thing, yeah. Just give us a bunch, right? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh man, so much flavor, right? 
That's incredible. It has a little kick to it, but not bit. too spicy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow, it's actually a little thick, this gravy. It's not like so watered down. It right? is. Oh, delicious chickpeas. I know. It's perfectly crispy. It's mm. crispy. It's, you know, it's, it's like soft. And, oh. It just has a lot of air pockets, right? Like, look at that. Scrap bunch. This is delicious. I love this. Yeah, I need some more of this. And, and you just wow. go in, grab as much as you want, right? It's the best part of Indian cuisine. And obviously, we washed our hands right before this. Have to do that. Mmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. So fresh. So, so fresh. good. Yeah, man. It like, takes me straight back to India. Oh, when you like close good. your mind, like close yeah. your eyes, you know? I don't know about closing your mind. But. <laughs> Open your mind, close your eyes. It's really early. <laughs> so delicious. Creamy too, right? Oh, wow. Mm. So it's a little oily, obviously, but not so bad. I mean, it literally took like, what, like 10 seconds once you put it into the, into the hot oil? It blew up right away. Blew up. Like I was not up. expecting that. I didn't know it was being made, so mm -hmm. to see it just inflate like that was awesome, right? really cool. Yeah, because it looks like a flatbread, and then he throws it into the oil and just pops up pretty fast, takes it out, and this is the thing you have to eat first, because if not, man, it, just, it won't taste the same, mm -hmm. you know? Even the way he rolled it out and then whipped it was so impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, dude, he has strategy. Thank you, thank you, appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> so nice. That was the manager, by the way. Yeah, this is great, man. Mm-hmm. What do you want to try next? That looks really interesting. Yeah? This is the Rava Onion Dosa. So, what does it come with? Okay, so three different chutneys here, and a sambar. So sambar is like a, like a lentil vegetable stew. Okay. Right? So usually they dip anything in it. You can also drink it if you want to. Really healthy. Next to it, we have three different chutneys. So we have tomato chutney, it's probably gonna be a little spicy. I can really see a chili in there. You have coconut chutney, this is my favorite, dude. I can literally just go like this out. Yeah. And you have the mint chutney. And then for this one, it's super crispy, right? Never tried this before, look at that. Wow, it just peels right off. Just peels right off. Got some vegetables in here. Mm-hmm. And then, so you wanna try this? I think you should try this one first. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Wow. You're right. I know. That coconut, wow, that's bomb diggity. Bomb. Wow. And it's actually a little doughy. There's certain parts that's doughy, but majority is crispy, right? And it wasn't too spicy. Yeah, it has a nice nice flavor to it. A little mm -hmm. spice, but not too much. Yeah. And it's cooled down because of the coconut. Wow. You wanna try this one? First, I wanna try this just alone. Because that was, that was really delicious, but I think it was mostly flavored with that. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm Mmm. That onion flavor. Again, savory pancake, right? Mmm. Savory, crispy. Just alone, this is amazing. But oh, you have man. all of these uh, to go with it. I mean, the best part about this is the pairing of the chutneys. Yep. For me. It works to just put it in there. Yep. It let works. it soak up, right? So it absorbs all that. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. So healthy. Mmm. And this comes with everything. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a punch of flavor. Punch of flavor, so many vegetables. This one's yellow, usually it's like more red. I'm getting different flavors now, like the aftertaste mm -hmm. is even better, wow. Yeah, you have a lot of uh, a lot of different flavor profiles here. I, I love the texture of this mixed with that. Mm. You know, it's light. I think this one's gonna be spicy though. I'm just gonna dive in here. Let me get your reaction to that. No. No? It looks spicy. It's subtle. Mm -hmm. Thing is that, Sometimes with these, they start to sneak up on you, right? So you have to be careful. Right? <laughs> and over here with the mint one. Wow. Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. Gotta get in there. So good. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. For me, my addiction is this one. It really is. Look at this. Mmm. What a unique dosa. I'm trying to pick which one's my favorite, Tamba. They're all so good and unique in their own ways. You want something cool? Yeah. Mix them all. Boom. 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 Mmm. Right. Trifecta. The trifecta <laughs> right there? Yeah, because you have that tomato. It's almost like a tomato paste wow. mixed with the coconut and then the mint, right? Ooh. Good enough, right? Huh. You gotta wear it too. Mm hmm. <laughs> Put my pants right there. Wow, I need to live here. This is amazing. I know, man. For me, South Indian breakfast is the ultimate breakfast. You know, I'm a big pancakes guy. Grew up in America, born and raised. 
pancakes all day. This is this is next level pancakes. This is next level. This is incredible. This is vegetarian. Yeah, everything is vegetarian too. Next up, we have another staple in Southern Indian cuisine. This is the idli. So this is a steamed rice cake. So they get the rice batter, they make it into these beautiful little cakes, they put it in the steamer, and that's it. All right. I've actually had, in Bangalore, I had one the size of this plate. Really? Yeah, and then you mix it with the chutneys again, the same three chutneys, you have a sambar next to it, and I think this is a different chutney here, right? Oh yeah, that's different. Uh, Milka puri, it's uh, a bit spicy. A bit spicy? <laughs> spicy is my name. All right, <laughs> let's do it. So grab one. And then I usually just do this, break it like that. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Oh, I know. One hand, one hand cut. You guys gonna there cut it like go. that? There we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this spicy one. I'm gonna watch you try that spicy one. Mmm, let's see. Mmm. Wait for it, wait for it. There's black pepper in here. Yeah? It's not too spicy. No? No, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a spicy fiend, so okay. this is not that bad. I think if you mix these, I think the flavor will be amazing. Yeah. Do whatever you want, you know? And also the sambar, like if you do this, that it looks, absorbs it. I was just you know? gonna say, this looks perfect. Like that. Cheers, bro. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. So soft. So fluffy. Mm. Like a pillow, right? Mm. Wow. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So these are the staples. These plus the vada we'll have next. Yep. And then, incredible. I'm just going to whichever chunk you want. Mm-hmm. Right there. Oh wow. So you're diving into South Indian heaven, right? <laughs> I think I need to take a trip to South India, man. I'll tell you, bro, you're fun loving. Look at this place, it just keeps filling up. More and more people are getting here. It's already 10.30, they only have an hour left, so try to get here early. Nine in the morning on a Monday today? Yeah. That's why it's a little empty. I didn't drink all this, man. <laughs> so delicious. Delicious, but you know what? If we finish that, we won't get to the next one, so. Now these were really cool to watch how they make it. Mm -hmm. So same, you know, concept. They give you the plate with the three chutneys plus the sambar, and then you have this. So a savory donut, right? This is called vada, V-A-D-A. -A. Vada, this is thick. Oh, you're just gonna use one hand, huh? Ooh, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm attempting. I know, right? I know, you, gotta, you have to, man, you have to. So what do you want to try? First one, this is the one I go for. Okay. Yeah, man, coconut. coconut Again, this yeah. is like the biggest thing down there. If you ever go to Kerala, India, yep. the state of Kerala, the name means land of coconuts. Okay. So everything's coconut. I've actually been to Kerala. Oh, have you? Yeah, no I actually way. stayed with a local in their home. It was incredible. Where'd you go, Kochi? Uh, just, yeah, just outside of Kochi. Okay, yeah. perfect. Look incredible. at that, he's been. I was couch surfing. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Well, cheers, man. Here we go. Glad to have you here. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm. Savor, right? Mm. Not sweet at all, but this obviously gives it the sweetness. It's amazing. It's so and good. Just the thickness of this, too. Oh, it's so soft on the inside, but perfectly crispy on the outside. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, it's a, you have that contrast, right? And then inside, you see this probably like a little chili in there. Oh, yeah. And again, this is meant to like the way they make it, it's not too oily. You know, it's not like a crazy fried donut, but obviously. It is fried. Yeah, and it's it's heavy too. It's it looks it small, heavy. but this is this is hefty. You have two of those and you're done. Yeah, like th it's obviously easier to eat these uh, doses because they're thin. Yeah. Right. The moment I think I feel something, I taste something, then another taste kicks in, and then another one. Amazing. Coffee, water. What do you need? I need some water, but yeah, wow. I know. Me too. The best. This is a monstrosity. Dun 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 dun. dun uh. <laughs> Pick it up, you can like yeah. unravel it, right? Like unroll it, but you just pull a piece. Oh, it's, oh, it's so thin and crispy. Yeah, so this one, you just go like that, right? Flaky. I, yeah, flaky. It's still a little doughy inside, right? I know, right? Mmm. So, I go like that, then I just dip it into these chutneys, right? Yeah. And keep folding. Make a bunch of layers, and then they'll absorb, right? Like that. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh man, but my hands are like super oily now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not oil, it's, it's ghee, right? So ghee is clarified butter. Okay. That's what they use in everything. Right. Let's do this. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So crispy. Wow, I love how every dish is just unique. Mm -hmm. So different. Mmm. Isn't it amazing though? Because they're using almost the same ingredients. Just the way they just, prepare it. Yeah. Different styles. I love how this one is so thin and flaky and crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one called ghee roast, which is like a cone shape. Mm. 
and then just put Maggi. So all clarified butter. That all right? It's so good. It's too much. Need some chutney. Mmm. Or not some sambal. This is what makes it right. It's ah, uh, the flavors. Mm -hmm. Jam, jam packed with flavor. So much flavor, nice and crispy. Again, I know we're repeating a lot, but at the same time we're not, right? Oh. It just keeps getting better and better. Mmm, the tomato. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> I can't get over how big this thing is. Normally, does one person eat this, or is it normally shared? You can eat this if you're not eating all this other stuff. Yeah. Because it's just I, mm. huge. Baby, coconut chutney, bro. That's a game. Period. Mmm. Dude, stop hogging this one. <laughs> All right, I'm done with it. Wow. Awesome, though, son. If you ever go to this restaurant anywhere in the world, you get this one. The last one, and we don't have any sweets after this. We're good with this. <laughs> Everything looks so interesting. So interesting, so unique. They're all very different. And this one is the Mysore Masala Dosa. So this is how it works, right? So you open it up, and there should be a place here. Break it somewhere, and then there you go. See the potatoes? Right, so. Yeah, like that. So you see the potatoes, they're all in there. They just put like a little stuffing. So you do is grab a piece, right? And then you go in here, and you pull that, and it's nice and mushy, right? Mm -hmm. Got a bit of this. Take some coconut. Coconut? Yeah. Yeah, me too, bro. Ooh. Oh, let's do it. Cheers. Damn. Mm hmm. It's a little spicier. You can put that chutney inside. Different, right? And this one's not crispy. This one's more doughy. Yeah. So each one's very unique, right? Unique in style and then also with the flavors. Mm hmm. And then this coconut uh, chutney has some mustard seeds. I love that, it's an extra, the extra kick there, you know? Man, I, I'm getting really full. Sort of. <laughs> Even though you get full, you just... You don't wanna keep going, right? Wanna keep going, it tastes so good. It's so addictive. Oh, it's, it's like a good day. red and orange, you can see the flavor. Mm-hmm. You see, I mean, it's not so spicy, right? I think they kept it a little mild for us. Obviously, Western palates are a little different. I appreciate it. Yeah, but if you want to, just add, ask them to make it Indian spice. And then it's, you know. That's real spice. I mean, I'm feeling something. A little, yeah, a little bit, but I know there's so much more potential to be way oh, yeah. more spicy. Get some more of this. Paper dosa. Team, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, shukriya, man. shukriya. Thank you, we loved it, man. Paper dosa. Paper dose is the best. Thank you. We'll see you next time. See ya. Thank next time I'm in New York City, I'm coming right back here for breakfast. Thank see you. you. I'll see you. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, my friends, we did it. Steve Yalo has South Indian breakfast here in Manhattan, Curry Hill, Lexington, and 26. Dude, what was your favorite? Ooh, the first thing we tried, the big puff. What was that called? Uh, so chana bature or chole bature. Ooh. So big, you know, huge puri. Yeah, with, with chickpeas. Oh, delicious. What about you? Paper dosa. Yeah, that was oh, amazing. You know what? Let me change my mind. Onion rava dosa. Okay. Th that onion one was so unique. It's like super crispy, lots of onions, fantastic. And again, this is the number one like South Indian veg restaurant chain in the world. South Indian breakfast from 9 a.m. to 11.30. 26th Street, Lexington on Manhattan. What a way to start the day. Right? That was just breakfast. I know. <laughs> awesome, dude. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, he, has, <laughs> he has an incredible food truck business and they bring fuchkas. If you guys don't know what fuchkas are, so these are crisp flatbreads, almost like Bani Puri, Galgapa. Obviously, the language is what changes the name, right? So in Bengali, it's Fuchka. Also, this is like a authentic. So you see, Bani Puri is different, and the way we make Fuchka is an authentic Bangladeshi food. You know? So it's a little different, right? A little different, yeah. Yeah, so the way it works is that he just pops a hole in this, right? Like, he'll pop a hole like that. And then he'll stuff it with this potato mash that's been mixed with chickpeas. And then he adds in, you know, coriander, uh, red onions. He adds this beautiful bani, which is like a sweet, sour, spicy. It's like a big mix, right? And then we have chilies and he shaves egg on top, right? So we're gonna do a challenge. He has about a hundred here, roughly. Yeah, yeah, okay. I have my boy Steve Yalo is joining me. Also the Greek solo behind us. And we're ready. Yeah, yeah I'm very excited. I'm excited yeah, too. Go, man. So I started this one, but Steve, are you ready? Oh, I'm so excited. This looks great. I'm so excited for this. I've never done this. 
but that's what you, that's what you get for hanging out with Steve and David. So. Yeah. Hi company, man. Oh, yeah. this? oh my God, I wish. You know what they called me in, uh, in India? Oh. The Puri King. Oh, Puri King. <laughs> Usually <laughs> Puri God, but I don't say God, I say King, you know? Because I can eat like a hundred of these, bro. Oh my God. Really? Don't stuff them too much, that's a secret. If he stuffs it too much, then we get full really fast. Too much, too much. No, no. <laughs> no. Usually I don't do anything. If I do something, I do it 110%. Otherwise, I don't do it. When I, I do fun, I do it 110%. So this is authentic Fusca from Bangladesh. I came to this country after 15 years. I get to experience something really authentic from my country, which is from Bangladesh. And heads up, heads up to this guy, Tong, that he bring it here for us. I really appreciate that. And I come here almost every other day to have it. This is like my everyday snacks. I would eat it every day too. Thank you. I love it, I love it. Thanks, bro. Let's now I'm gonna put the red onion at the top. Lime, you're the best, bro. Thank you, bro. You know, I make my own masala, some of them. You know, it's a special ingredient. Just more spices. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna save the egg. There we go, man. Now, what I'm gonna do, I didn't put the sauce earlier. So we are ready. We have the food, guys. We have around 40. Yes. This is easy. So we do right. So you gotta put the sauce. Just get the sauce, all right? And then you go in, you pour it inside. I add like at least, you know, maybe a lot more. And I have more, one, bro, bro. more. And you know what? I'll throw a little chili oh, on top. Right away. Yeah, with yeah, the chili. I, I, I didn't know. Ah! I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> we have to. We have to. It's my first ever pushka. First oh, ever. This is a, I'm excited. How, how does it go? Yes, all right, let's do it. Oh, oh, what? Yeah. So good. Oh, no. we have that it's crunchy. Mm. It's sweet. It's spicy. Woo. That flavor hits you. That is amazing. It's amazing. Mm. So many different flavors. And that was one. I'm ready for a hundred more. A hundred more. Yogurt fusca. What's the yogurt fusca next? And, and you guys say doi, and doi. in Hindi it's dahi. Dahi, yeah. Cheers, bro. So. Mm. Bro, you took me back to India, man. Oh, thank you. Wow. Did you ever been to Bangladesh for the food? I've been to West Bengal a lot. But and Assam Bangladesh. and Meghalaya, but I haven't been to Bangladesh. Brother, trust I know. me. That's gonna save your life for the street food. Yeah? Yes. He said it's over how many different street food items in Bangladesh? At least 10,000. 10,000 yes, street food items. It's very authentic. So I want people to know that, you know, Bangladesh street food is Bangladesh street food. Yeah. We are a small country beside big, big countries. People more know than, you know, about their culture, food, and they go there more. Exactly. But we have some heritage that you have to go and experience. No? And as much as I can, I will try to bring it in here in the USA so that people know about our food, you know. I started, lots of people are following through them. Again, lots of people are knowing about Bangladeshi food. This is my happiness. It's not for money. I love it's this not guy. only for anything. It's a hope, it's a dream. You have to do something, right? Even a little step, you have to put some food a step. Are you going to jump with us? Are you going to try? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Yeah. Yeah. number three, man. Boom. So good. I love the egg. Mm -hmm. It just keeps getting better and better. Mm -hmm. I could eat this every day. This every is day, right? This is so good. Dude, the thing is that when I, you know, travel in India, then I, I ate a lot of this in Calcutta, which is obviously right next door, right? West Bengal. Yeah. <clears throat> just the crunch and all that flavor inside, topped with the egg. Perfection. Oh yeah, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheers. It's too good. The flavor. The flavor is outstanding. You want this? Is how they usually do it, right? Yes. Go to the rim. Yeah, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. My bunny. It's spicy. It's sweet. It's incredible. Thank you, brother. Whoa. You see, even the bunny is very mm. different than the one I think you tried in India. Yeah, very different. Very and also different. the the puri is different too. It's yes. more crunchy. Yes, brother. So you see, we have all of them city and see what else to know. I can't stop. Don't stop, man. Look how fast he does it. So they do on the streets of, of uh, Dhaka as well, right? They die like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So quick. Mm. I am in love with this, man. I'll say, this is my favorite, favorite street food item on earth. Oh. It really is. Oh, thank you. That's really incredible. Wow. Oh, it's a spice right there. Look at that. Chilies. Let's do it, man. This guy. Yeah, another, 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 another popular setting. All I know is I did like yeah. 10. I never had it with the egg. It's you a whole different, a, yeah, okay. whole different thing. Yeah, I mean, usually it'll just be like chickpeas, yeah. aloo, 
maybe some spice, you know. And they put some like you know green sauce or like you know the very mm -hmm. peanut water, right? Exactly. And this is my special little brother, right here. Thank Man, you. this is the best. Thank so you. tasty. Seriously. Thank you, thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Everything is in front of you. Take it. Yeah, I think I think the key is this, right? Yes, the key is this. The bani. Like if the bani is good, and we know it's good water, because we're in New York City, right? Yeah, we're in New York City. And you know, I have my honesty with myself, and the honesty is whatever I don't eat, I don't give it to people, no matter if I win million dollar or single dollar. Mm -hmm. This is my honesty with me and my God. So this is how I'm I love here. It, I love it. This guy is amazing, bro. I love you, right? Thank you, brother. I love you. My Bangladeshi brother, right here. Whoa, I'm feeling it in like yeah. ten, ready? Woo! Woo! I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. Keep that's, going. That's, that's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the secret. You. you just can't stop. Here, let's let's do it together. Ready? Mm. Mm. This I'm gonna give you the fusca shot. Oh yeah? Yes. Oh wow. I'm so glad you brought me here. This is. I know. I know a lot of people who have never tried this before. And I'm like, man, it's that we don't have it. We don't find it, you know? And this is the thing about New York City. The mix of all those cultures, you can find unique things that are really authentic, you know? That's what I love about it. Bringing Bangladesh right here to the streets of New York City. Incredible. Oh. I love it. Honestly, this tastes so, so nice, bro. Yeah, it looks so good. Yeah. And how much does it cost here for 10? Uh, it's a seven pieces. It's a it takes six dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, there you go, brother. And this is for you. Just give me non-stop. <laughs> there you go, my brother. <laughs> I think this is better, right? Yeah, there we go. Just you should have put it right in his mouth. <laughs> this is better. Yes, David, let's go. Let's mm. go, brother. This is better. Let's go, let's go, let's go, brother. Let's go. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Do it. I ate 10 again in a minute. More, 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 more. This is your favorite. Mm. Go ahead, brother. It's the way. Oh, I'm hitting a wall. God. I think I had like 25 already? Uh, yeah. I have the count right here. I ate here, my brother. Oh. I need a break, bro. Need a break? Me sure. Ah. This is the last piece, okay? Take one more. You can take it, I know. Stop putting it in your cheeks like a chipmunk. I can eat a lot more. And you know, the thing is, take it slowly. In India, they'll, they'll give it to you and they'll have the next one waiting for you to the bite. Right, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right now. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a spicy, I put some green chili. No, did you? Yeah. 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 I'm good, don't worry. Ah, uh, yes. Excellent. <laughs> it's hot, it's hot. Alright, here we go. Are you ready? The ultimate Fushka challenge. Yes. There you go, man. One. Two. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna keep awesome. going. I am ready. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I'll take this one. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, there you go. This is why people call him Fushka. Mm -hmm. Now I got it. Mm. You had only seven pieces. Oh my god. <laughs> Feel good, huh? I got this. I got this. Oh. Oh. Mental toughness. You don't feel something. Oh yeah. See so what he's feeling right now? That's a wall. <laughs> that is a wall of flatbread. No, no, there's always some room, bro. In Greece, we say there all, there's always some room, bro. I know, I know, you guys do that. So whenever you are in New York City, you guys, I will see you guys, right? You guys, oh, right? for sure, for sure. I would eat them a little slower, but right now it's great. Mm. Straight in the mouth. Come on, yay! Give me more, give me energy. Because you can have wait a long time. You can wait a long time when he, once you push the pani in it, because then it's just yeah. soggy. This is not a to-go item. This is right here, right now. <laughs> Seems very happy with the food. So magnificent. So it started raining, so we went undercover, set up some umbrellas, and we're right here on the side, right? I need like a 10-minute break. How you feeling? My stomach expanded, but I feel good. All right. Feel okay. good. You? I'm I'm great. Yeah. It tastes amazing. A little quicker than I was expecting. Usually I'm a slow eater. I like to take my time, enjoy the flavor, but this is just pop, 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 pop. 
but it's so good. And I'm ready for more. I mean, that's the challenge, right? It's how much you can take in a short period. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I can do the whole day and eat a thousand, but. Yeah. And I mean, you don't stop. It's a challenge, I can. I only got to have all the fusca together. Problem with the doy fusca, it's gonna be soggy right away. Because of the yogurt, it becomes soggy right away. So this is quick. He's gonna fill it up, he's gonna throw all the ingredients, and we're just gonna take them down. We're gonna take 20. Roughly 20 down really quick. I did two pieces from over here. I mean 16 each of us. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. No problem. I might just hide some in my pockets. <laughs> what are you talking about? My food has to look good also. It has to taste good. Oh, so good. You know? Alright, so ready? Eight in each palette. Eight in each plate. Let's go. Yeah, I have another two ready. Oh, I can have one Mmm. Hey, I get a cake. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that yogurt. Yeah, it was so sweet. Mmm. Ooh, it's like candy. It's so good. Mmm. It's crunchy, it's sweet, easy going, right? Yeah, mm. right. I'm gonna put something very good for you. Well done. The way I do it, I like it. Mmm. Like, no, mm -hmm. Which one is better? This one or the other one? This one. This one? This one's so sweet. I think if you like yogurt, no? Maybe just balances it, right? You have a little bit of spice, but then the yogurt just cools it down. You got these little crunchies on top too. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. You have two more flares. Alright. Easy work, bro. Easy work. So much yogurt in that one. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is nice yogurt. It's amazing. This is amazing. Oh, look, look, so you wait too long, it's too soggy, but that one just put it up, right? Whoa, yeah, the best. Ooh. Oh man, this is filling. What's happening to you, bro? <laughs> man, it's not even India. Like from now, you will be a street food god to me. Like you know, yeah, the way you can eat that. Street food god. He's a beast. I, I'm going as fast as I can. Look at him. He's already on his second plate. I'm struggling over here. It's delicious, but woo, it's mm. a lot. I'll be eating, well, you know, Pushka with David Beckham, bro. One oh. day. Yeah, yeah, you, if, yeah, definitely. If you put it out there, inshallah, it right? Inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. This, might, this might happen. Please start making news, New York Times. I got all the food awards in New York City 2019. Mm -hmm. I got all of them. Oh, wow. All of them, all of them. Oh. Yes. Best food award in Queens and four in all over New York City. It's right here. And I want you guys to know something. I was here about a month ago. We were literally just walking around filming and we found this stuff. We loved it. I DM'd him on Instagram. He was like, no, you're coming, you're coming. So we're here today. Yeah, I'm very happy, man. I'm very excited. And oh. I, as I know, I, I saw your videos and everything. I'm a fan of you. But when I saw the challenge in India, Fusca Salons, you know, this is my thing. Why not in USA? So Look, we're doing it. I'm happy, brother. I'm deep. How about you? Yes, Paul. You already... I'm hitting that wall. I can oh, see yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fushka, you know what? Fushka King yeah, right Fushka here. King, yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. I think, That's you know... Third you don't even <laughs> <laughs> get, get this one. You always holding the... It's okay. Cheers, cheers. All right, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you want me to make more? I can make more. I have three other items over here. Remember Pepto Bismol, right? <laughs> Dude, you put some chilies in here. Oh man, I think this is my last one. I don't know. I'm feeling feeling it right now. He doesn't have anything. I have to make one plate for him. Hurry up! He's making him get more. Uh, he yeah. can't stop. You can do it, brother. It's a machine. You can do it, brother. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, not oh my god, I never, I have never seen somebody like you. World Trust me. I swear to God. Then what's crazy <laughs> is that, is that, where, hey, where does it go? Where does it go? Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. <laughs> it's more! Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna lick my fingers. Wow. I don't encourage gluttony behavior, but he definitely ate more than this. me. But <laughs> wow. I mean, for this, you know, it's like once in a lifetime. We're here in the streets of New York City, starting to rain. We're here in the streets of Bangladesh. Right? That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's amazing. This is incredible. Oh, I need a break. <laughs> What's up, bro? You good? My head's yeah, dirty, bro. You do. Oh, you yeah? You're in Uzbekistan as well, right? Yeah, 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 I've been in Uzbekistan. Everybody call you the Fusca King, and I think I agree with it. You have like at least 70, 80 Fuskas without blinking your eyes. That's respect, bro. <laughs> you don't know how I feel right now, dude. I'm hitting a wall. 
I need somebody to walk me to the to the train. Look, like. look, look, look at this. It, st it still looks like you don't have nothing. <laughs> so it's perfect, man. It's it's going through me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> There's one. It's better than the, than, than the last one. And that was our Puchka challenge here in incredible Jackson Heights, Queens, New York City, with my boy. Oh my God, I feel coma but it's all good it's all good they have four locations currently they're gonna open the fifth one and they're opening a restaurant so if you're ever in queens or jamaica queens got brooklyn as well a few Fort, different uh, bronze oh, and jamaica yeah and jamaica yes perfect so if you ever want to come out here try their fuchka they have like six other things right so total yeah. eight different dishes fuchka is my favorite pani puri galgapa whatever you want to call it obviously in bangladesh it's called that i had roughly around 60 it's really filling. I do not promote gluttonous behavior, by the way. Do not do that unless you're gonna do a challenge with your friend. Obviously, we did a big challenge here. I think you did 30? Yeah, I, I did a few less than less than him, but <laughs> they were really <laughs> delicious. Awesome. Well, guys, if you're ever in New York City, definitely get on the train on the 7, get off at Jackson Heights, walk four streets over. So we're on 73rd Street, 37th Avenue, right here, Tongue, NYC. You guys will love it.